Welcome to the season finale of our superhero campaign, Marvel's The New Vanguard, Piercing Chaos. We're so excited to have you with us as we start our own Marvel adventure using the rules for the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game playtest. We're going to jump right into the story, but first let's have the cast say who they are, who they're playing, any projects they're working on. And as always, we love to start with our wonderful narrator, Aliza. Aliza, you'd like to talk about yourself? Hey, sure. I'm Aliza Pearl. I'm the narrator of this story. And uh, I am an actor, improviser, game master, dungeon master, TGRPG player, all these things, writer. And uh, I am, a, what am I doing in life? I, I just did D&D in a castle. And I think by the time this airs, it will be announced that I will be doing the next D&D to Castle in March. <laughs> so <laughs> sign up for that. <laughs> um, and yeah, and find me on all the internet things at Aliza Pearl, A-L-I-Z-A. All right, perfect. Next, we're going to go to our wonderful special guest, Josephine. We'd like to talk about yourself, uh, who you're playing, <laughs> and the projects you're working on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josephine McAdam. Uh, I'm an actor. You can find things that I've been in over at my Twitter, which is at JCVIM. Actually, all socials is at the same JCVIM. Today, I am getting to play Dr. Angela Winston from Earth 813. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, and I have, I'm going to have fun interacting with you. I'm very excited. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's, I am excited, but also uh, nervous uh, at the same time. Uh, and you will see why. I'll probably explain more towards the end of this uh, episode. Uh, next, we have uh, the wonderful Aki. You'd like to talk about yourself for your play and projects you're working on. Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. Uh, I played Aid Hastings, uh, who is also uh, the universe uh, GB through M3's Captain America. Um, projects I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on a few things, but none of them have been announced yet. Um, I'm not entirely certain when they will be, but definitely keep your eyes on my socials at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. Um, there, there's one project that's coming up at the end of October that I'm very, very excited for. Um, it's going to be over on Q Times. It's a passion project of a good friend of mine, and um, it's a really dope story. So hopefully there will be more information about that coming out very soon. All right, perfect. Uh, next, make our way down, we have the wonderful Melee Damage. You'd like to talk about yourself for your play and projects you're working on. Hi there, uh, Melee Damage. Uh, you can find me on all the socials at whatever they are forward slash Melee Damage, which is the best way to stay up to date on all of the streams and uh, all of the music that I have coming out. And I just, that's where I'm at. Uh, find me there. Uh, and uh, tonight I am playing Electra, um, our uh, assassin in red. Uh, stab first, ask questions later. Is it still in red though now, fam? Is it still in red though with those with those different locks in place? <laughs> Just because I not own one piece of red clothing. Just imagine this is red. This is so red coat. Have yeah, I, I, I dress for the occasion today. <laughs> I always dress for the occasion because I only have one, one hoodie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Of course, and next we have the wonderful Cynthia Marie. You'd like to talk about yourself who you're playing and projects you're working on. Hey, everyone. I'm Cynthia Murray. I also came dressed for the occasion. Mm -hmm. um, you guys mm -hmm. can find me on social media as uh, Twitter at Sindancer or Instagram, Cynthia underscore underscore Marie. Um, I, you guys, I post about everything that I do, but I am actually going to talk about some of my projects that are coming up because um, I'm really excited about them. And not that I normally toot my own horn, but here we are. Cynthia's tooting her own horn today. Um, <laughs> it is the 29th, correct? Uh, yes. Excellent. So being that is the 29th, I am very excited to tell you that New York by Night season two is coming out September 30th. So please come and watch us. It's on the World of Darkness channel on Twitch. I will be in the chat. Some of us here might be in the chat. Who knows? But it's going to be a crazy good game because it is the camp side of the story. The only story that should ever be told is Camarilla. But you know, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm going there. I'm going there. <laughs> Spicy. I'm going. 
<laughs> I know. I, I, I had to, I had to toot, toot the camp side of things. Um. Anyways, uh, backing track. Uh, this week we would have just completed Clue live, so Aki and I, um, were oh, in right. a live, yeah. uh, casting uh, uh, or telling of Clue. I play Miss Scarlet and Aki plays Mr. Green. So if you didn't watch it, it should be uh, on a VOD somewhere. Um, it's going to be Over on live on action, like action roleplay. Role yeah. So please go check it out. That's also going to be a lot of fun. We're also in the midst of um, Hispanic Heritage Month. So shout out to Miss Eliza Pearl for being our Hispanic mm -hmm. DM here. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, but if you guys want to <laughs> see me in my first time DMing live, um, I'm going to be doing some charity work for Hispanic Heritage Month, um, I believe on, I don't know exactly their, their um, channel, TTRPG GIF, right? Mm -hmm. um, is Jorge's channel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be leading a one shot of Changeling of all Latin mm -hmm. players. So stay tuned and you can find out who's actually going to be playing because you, you may see a face in, in um, this very room. So anywho, those are the ones I wanted to kind of talk about. I'm um, really excited. Otherwise, I pop up pretty much freaking everywhere. So just go look wherever on my socials and find out where I'm coming up next. Oh, wait, I'm playing. Yamaya. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, I see I don't like talking this much about myself. I'm sorry. Uh, I play Yamaya. Uh, she's your, your Wonder Woman, uh, Storm, um, mother of everybody who makes sure that everybody eats and is strong enough to go fight the good fight. Much love. Peace. <laughs> That was perfect. Uh, Reed, good luck. You're next. <laughs> Tell me who you are, who you're playing, and projects you're working on. <laughs> I, I absolutely cannot follow that amazing, <laughs> uh, amazing description there. Uh, but, but I am Re. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at, and all the other socials at Big Dude Re and at Re Rolls for the, our official Twitch channel. Um, we are doing Arithian Nights, which should be having its conclusion soon mm -hmm. uh, this upcoming weekend you get to discover exactly where season one ends for our band of adventurers um, our mages should be going strong at this point as they attempt to unravel the secrets in the darkness and you may be hearing rumors about another show that may be starting up relatively soon so keep your eyes open for that i'm super excited for, for what we're working on um, but tonight i will be playing usnavi morningstar da costa the really fast light superhero who has recently discovered some new responsibilities and you should definitely check out the last episode if you haven't to discover exactly what those are oh yes it was a doozy a surprise for many of us that's for sure <laughs> uh and of course we have the wonderful nas wiki you like to talk about yourself who you're playing and projects you're working on i am uh, i'm nos you can find me at nosfera 2 rpg on twitter because that's where i should post uh i usually just bounce around whatever people invite me and i don't have any plans i fly by the seat of my pants as they say and uh i am currently playing john the noir universe ghost rider who is black and white as a person it's it's the filter which looks absolutely fantastic by the way definitely gives a nice noir vibe um as for yours truly i am kira858 i play the sweet bean divinity who does not understand why people want to punch him when they first meet him just because they're seven foot two when they transform um you can <laughs> you can of course be able to find all of our content listed uh of course on twitch.tv slash kira858 here as well as our youtube channel the cookout ttrpgs in terms of projects that we're working on i'm going to of course there's one project going on right now which is the expanse tv show i'm we're currently having a ttrpg project in there on raiders restoration it's a lot of fun uh, i love the expanse universe and is having a lot of fun placing our nice little foothold uh into that area um other stuff you know what just keep an eye out on our on my twitter uh at the at the kira a58 as well as the cookout ttrpgs there's always stuff coming up and with that we're going to jump straight on over to our wonderful narrator aliza aliza take it away oh you're muted There it is. So much has transpired. The thread that is being weaved by this particular group of people, two groups, really. I look back, step back and look at all the different multiverses unfolding in front of me. And I see a group of heroes 
semi-recently formed with two multiversal heroes helping them back at their home base hot on the trail of another person who seems to be assembling a group of her own she is deep deep in the quantum verse hiding out assembling power assembling intelligence and resources but for what purpose but i rewind a bit to the moment before that group of heroes got to the high floor of the Chicago Department of Water and Power. Mm, 20 minutes before that moment to be exact. A young woman in her 30s, blonde, attractive, smart, capable, a scientist, and also a government official. She sits at her office desk What do we see, Josephine? Can you describe who we see sitting at her office desk? Uh, yes, there is another young woman um, in front of her, similar in age. Um, perhaps she has a has jet black hair in a bob, and. Um, Looks a little frazzled at times, but always has eyes darting about, glasses at the top of her head, and um, a little a little frail, in a little more frail in stature, but um, constantly searching, eyes always searching for something, mm. sitting across. Moments before, that frazzled look of yours was even more frazzled because you <laughs> saw appearing out of nowhere in front of your desk a woman who looks just like you except for the blonde hair step through a blue energy portal and sit down in front of you uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry who are you? <laughs> well, you might call me sister because in a way we are sisters. I, uh, yes, I'm not aware of any sisters. Well, how did you get here? What else? What is this? You what, see what? the blue energy portal dissipating and the energy is still palpable in the room. It's almost as if it's radiating some kind of like heat energy as it disappears behind her. She says, oh, that was my mode of transportation. And I'd like for you to give it a try with me if you're up for a little bit of a trip. A trip? I, I, <laughs> I have my own affairs here. I'm, I've got much to manage. I've, I've got uh, an entire world to keep track of. I can't just leave. Yes, yes, of course. Um, how is your little program going? The Sentinels? Well, you know, I think it's worked marvelously thus far. There is a bit some slight hiccups, some slight pushback recently, perhaps. Mm. But nothing we can't get under control. We have some of the best minds working on it, you see. Mm. Well, my dear Angela, that's why I'm here. I am recruiting a team. A team of like-minded women from all corners of we'll say the world for now and I think you would be just the last missing piece that I need and if I can get this team assembled and finish this project I'm working on I can give you priority access to some high grade super powered technology that you could add to your sentinel program <laughs> alright well Let's pause this a moment. And she reaches out and sort of touches Angela's arm and is like, is, is this some sort of 
cloaking technology? What, what is this? What, is this a joke? Why do you know you like this? <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm really here. I really stepped through an energy portal into your office. And I hate to tell you this, but we are running out of time. She looks at her watch nervously and looks to the door. Out so, of time for what? Well, we're going to have some visitors here in your office building very soon. Here? So, yes. If you don't come with me right now, I'm not sure you will survive what is about to happen next. <laughs> Great. Great. It's just what I need. Uh, let me guess. Um, uh, is this because of some sort of super-powered beings out there, right? Yes. Mm. Ones that your program was not able to track down and eliminate. But with my technology, they could. <laughs> well, I can't deny that there is some uh, scintillating things you've brought up, so I... And let me see this technology you speak of. Wonderful. She stands up from the chair and starts to pace a little bit around your office. She turns her back to you and kind of fiddles with something in front of her body so that you can't see. And while she's doing that, she looks over her shoulder and she says, Hmm. No pictures. I'm guessing you're like me. No family. Oh, uh. <laughs> No, no family, no, uh, there was some family, but... <clears throat> but they were they, unreliable, maybe? Unreliable, yes. Afflicted, perhaps. Um, they're not here anymore. Hmm. Well, dear Angela, where I'm about to take you, you'll have a whole family, people who know you and love you. And she waves her arm into that space again, and another fresh new blue energy portal pops up behind her. At that moment, you hear a boom coming from way down on the ground floor. You hear burr, 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 as klaxons and alarms start going off in the building. Well, it's time, shall we? And she puts her arm out to you. You do have some good timing, it seems. <laughs> Don't I ever. <laughs> she takes it and goes through with you. Okay. And the two Angelas walk through the energy portal. We cut back to the home base, the pocket dimension where the new Vanguard spend their time. Where are you all now? And what are you doing? In the kitchen, cooking for everybody to ensure that everybody has their strength up. Boy. Captain America is in the gym, um, doing some, uh, doing, uh, going a few rounds with the punching bag. Uh, Usnavi is entering the kitchen. Uh, he's not wearing his usual jacket and said he's wearing a tank top with like world's best ad or something like that you'd get from like an amusement park. Oh. <laughs> no. Is Dario with you here? He would be with us in the place, but not in the kitchen. Uh, this is for business time, so he's letting the child go okay. off and hopefully not cause any trouble. Okay. Uh, Orion's in the kitchen at the table, squeaking their little legs back and forth as they watch Jemaya dive in on the stove. And he was like, Doko, one day, can you, uh, can you show me how you cook some of this stuff? Cause no. Yeah, of course, of course. I could, I mean, I could show you after we get done with everything today. Um, oh, oh, I'll teach you how to make a grilled cheese. <laughs> grilled cheese? No, yeah. I, I want the other stuff you cook. The one, the one that has like, like the nice spices in it. Like grilled cheese is kind of plain. Like acapulia? Mm, yeah, like that. Uh, wait, okay. wait till I show my mom and dad like stuff that I learned from you. They were like, where do you learn this from? I was like, I got one of the best friends out there. You do. All right, but we got to start slow, though. We got we to gotta start small. Grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can, can we have some hot sauce on it or something? I don't know. 
fine. But hot sauce and Mountain Dew? It adds an extra spicy flavor, that's for sure. All right, go go get yourself a Mountain Dew. I'm going to finish up here. Yay! Okay, you see the hop off the, the seat, run into the refrigerator, pull off this giant one liter bottle of Baja Blast, and then they run back over to the table. You are always a lifesaver. Never change, no matter what Captain America says. <laughs> and then they'll pour it, and they'll pour it, pour it to their cup and, and take a drink. <laughs> Uh, Sanafi, you okay over there? Um, sure. A little bit. Sure, I guess. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, Cena thought this would be cute. Um, Daria wanted the jacket. And they threatened to hack into a government building if I didn't give it to him, so I did. Yeah, um, we should probably talk about how to, um, parent a super powered child because giving in to their every whim when they threaten you know world domination is probably not the best way to parent that child at the moment that's true but i also feel that saying no wasn't the best course of action you know uh, there's been a lot and i technically didn't know they existed and then they were running giant murder machines for a while i feel like i'm in the negative on on parenting leaderboards at the moment well, I am happy to help or assist wherever you need, but I think right now all you need to do is connect with them. Yeah, don't go, yeah, go, I, don't go leave it for two years. I think yeah. that is generally accurate information. I was going to hopefully take them on a trip around the world for a day or two, so that should be something better. Sounds like fun. Which universe? Oh, but either of you be interested in joining? I don't. I don't think mine is the best place for yeah. them at the moment. Yeah. I, uh, mm, well, why don't we go to mine? What, I, I, I don't. Divinity, I don't want to go there. Oh, yeah. You don't? Still no, not. I still don't really want to talk to my mom at the moment. It's a little awkward. Okay, but but the, the goal. Oh. Yeah, I I know it. It's still a lot. Like you know how your parents were gone for two years. Mine thought I was dead. Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's like that. Yeah. Give me some time. We'll 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 go back home. But in the meantime, uh, the world is beautiful in, in my universe, and I also believe Captain America's universe is actually even more gorgeous. So we might want to check those out. I think we can meet Deadpool again. And see him run away from a moose. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe, I'm not sure Deadpool is the best childhood influence, but sure. Um, I, I think it'd be a good idea to see all of them. We can make it like a week long excursion. For so instead of around the world, it's going to be around the universe. Sure, why not? We should I think we deserve a vacation. I agree, but I think we need to get over one tiny little hurdle first before we, we take a vacation. Get Dr. Angela Winston. Is she like one of our main super villains? Is that like how it is? Like, you know how like, how like Spider-Man has like Rhino and a Dr. Octopus and then other folks have like, like, I think it seems like Elektra really does it like Kingpin. Is it kind of like that for us? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't really look at people as villains and heroes. We just stand on different sides of different lines at different points. So. Really? We're probably going to have to kill at least one of them. Probably all of them. We can't kill at least one of them. Though. Well, oh, never mind. Electric kills a lot of people. But we shouldn't kill it. I mean, typically my job is to stand by and watch humanity and not get involved. Mm. Eh, but you're stuck with us. There, I, you're not going to wait. No, no, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, not an option. It, not an option. Not in the words of Nick Fury. He says that uh, sometimes. I think about now the uh, aide walks in and they're like wearing, you know, a tank top and, you know, some loose fitting uh sweats and um uh, they have a towel wrapped around their neck and they kind of walk over to the um the fridge and they pull out like a bottle of water and they kind of go slow slow it uh close it and like open up what are we talking about again your muscles are huge right now 
that's what working out will do for you. And, you know, a little super soldier serum. Some of it I earned, some of it I didn't. Yeah, you see Yamaya like quickly like whisking things. <laughs> <laughs> but we are debating killing Dr. Angela Winston or not. I lean towards killing, but I'm also concerned that it would be a bad example for the children. I don't think killing is an answer, though. Why would we want to? I, killing should be a last resort. I agree. Mm. Um, the there are more. There is more than one way to neutralize a threat. Um, killing should definitely be the last resort. And since the leader of this is the Angela from my universe, I feel compelled to remind everyone that it's my duty to make sure she's brought to justice for what she's done and uh i would like if possible to bring her back to my universe and make sure that justice is served mm, i don't know though that bringing her back to you your universe would be the answer considering that she offended multiple universes there's got to be some sort of detainment center for multi-universes no well i mean we could always put her before a lot to and see what he has to say that is a good plan we could drop them on a random planet somewhere in space that would also technically it, fix the problem. But then she would die. I'm not sure she could breathe in space like you. Again, they may or may not be partially responsible for a lot of people dying in my universe. So mercy isn't really something I'm really big on at the moment. I uh, can understand that. And I'm not going to tell you that you're not entitled to that feeling. Um. But I think that we owe it to all of us to get to the bottom of exactly what happened and why before we start, um, you know, disintegrating people. I think at this point, John walks in with like a tumbler of unnamed substance with ice in it and just kind of stands there. Is that a uh, Slurpee? It's an adult Slurpee. Uh, I think I have walked into something, uh, in a, something heavy. Should I go? No, we're just trying to figure out what our next steps are, but I don't think that there is a whole lot of talk, more talking that we should do. I think once we've eaten dinner, thanks by the way, uh, Yamaya, once oh, we've, uh, once we've eaten dinner, I think we should be about our business. Has anyone seen Electra? No, so no, she no. didn't leave to kill them already. Oh, yeah, she does that sometimes. She did that. Is that an option? Well, you should be. I don't know. You had to go. Hey, you see uh, Orion <laughs> trying to, try to hop off the chair to see if, if Electra is in, uh, in her room. Orion, you check her room. She's not there. Oh, you no. actually head down to the meditation area. And. That's where you find Electra. Electra, what what does Orion see? Uh, Orion sees uh, a lot of destroyed sandbags that have been hanging from the ceiling, like by ropes, and you can tell they all have little targets painted on them, and they've been slashed in a bunch of different ways. Some of them are just fallen to the ground completely. And uh, Electra is sitting in the middle, uh, meditating, uh, with her size in her hand. Uh, and you've seen her do this before. Usually that's kind of how she uh, gets her head together for upcoming battles. So reminiscing from what they've seen from the old, very old Pink Panther cartoon, you see them go on their tippy toes and slowly make their way over towards Electra uh, to hopefully they get kind of close. Don't kill me out here. I knew you were here before you made it down the stairs, but yes, uh, thank you for coming to check up on me. I assume this means dinner's ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're about to... What, what happened in here? Oh, uh, isn't it glorious? Uh, training. Uh, just, just a little bit brushing up on some things. You never know. Um... Are you upset? Do you want to talk about it? I am not upset. Fighting from a place of emotions uh, is not what you want to do a lot of times. You have to, to learn to center yourself, which is what this is about. 
So this helps deter your emotions. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and to approach things from a calm and level place. Would it Mountain Dew just do that? I mean, that makes me nice and calm. Absolutely not. No. Oh, okay. Fuck it, folks. They were, they're waiting for us upstairs so we could go ahead. Are you going to kill Agile and Winston? That depends on her. Hmm. We're trying to decide their debate. Some wants to kill her. Some do not. I'm a kid. I, I'm like, I don't, I, I don't think people should die. I think they should just go to jail and then they get no PlayStation 5 or no video games. They just have to stay in jail. But tell me, Divinity, how would you keep someone in jail who can walk through walls? Uh oh. Sometimes the answers aren't as easy as you think. There's a lot of gray areas. You'll learn that as you get older. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. That made me make new jails that people can't walk through walls through. I don't know. I'm not that smart. You know, I you know most of my brain just comes in when when I have to study for history and stuff, but not that. I'll try. I'll try try to keep an open mind about killing people. I can't go right. I more of an open mind about doing what needs to be done. Let's let's put it like that. That that sounds a lot better. Okay. All right. I, I'll I'll see you upstairs. Okay. I'll be up in a few. And then they gently whisper, "I'm sorry" to all of the bags that's like hanged up on the ground, <laughs> hanged up with the sad hanging out, <laughs> and they make their way up the stairs. <laughs> And Electra okay. goes to uh, kind of clean up the area and blow the candles out so that nothing catches on fire and <laughs> heads up shortly after. So Orion and then Electra rejoin the group back in the kitchen. And by now, America Chavez and Uatu and Dr. Paint have also joined the group in the kitchen. Is dinner being served now, Yamaya? Absolutely. We've got rosco and gandules. We've got pollo over here. we got capulias over here. we got baclayitos. The works is out. Oh my god, a feast. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so everyone, uh, is it kind of like family style? People just kind of grab their own plates and serve themselves and then come sit down, that kind of... Yeah, in fact, you actually see Yamaya running out with a giant avocado because she forgot to cut the avocado for everybody too. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah, I definitely grab the plate and just start diving in on the food. Like I said, they, you know, they, they still have some manners. Again, Captain Marvel wouldn't allow for any other. They, they can't eat super messy. But, um, they just, this is so good. Ah. Oh, yeah, I need to learn how to make this. Uh, I will teach you. Don't worry. Remember, you got to mix. You got to mix the beans with the rice. Mm. Oh, should I eat this now? What if I get an upset stomach while we're fighting? Eat small. Eat small? Okay. <laughs> so they take a little scoop. Make sure, make sure to chew your food. That will usually help. Don't, don't inhale it. Oh, like, well, that's hard. <laughs> I trust me. I understand. I, uh, you, you see, Aid is also just kind of <laughs> shoveling the food into their face. It's like, but it's really important for your digestion to make sure you actually chew the food. <laughs> okay, maybe that will help. Because they can also definitely think about some of the damage beans has done to their stomachs. So they're, <laughs> they're going to try to incorporate that thing. <laughs> so, uh, I guess our plan is we go to the communication device, right? Is that where we're heading? Is, is America Chavez so, coming with us? I um, ask America. Yeah, I'm right here. Um, well, the plan is to go. Have we talked about where we're where you're going next to face off with Dr. Angel Winston? I mean, we're headed to the quantum verse, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. We left a communication device with one of the Angelas there, with the one that got kidnapped, um, the wife of the uh the professor from John's universe, the doctor, right? right. 
Um, we've been she, working on that. Um, he seems good. like one of the few Angela's we should take really good care of. Make sure she gets home. Good. Yeah. You were saying, America, you've been working on that? Yes. Uh, so we were able to... Okay, using my you know, previous experience in the quantum verse and having to break myself out of there and that lab and using the earring that you gave us, um, the three of us, and she points to herself, Doc, uh, Uatu and Dr. Paint, the three of us have figured out a way to um, kind of like hone my powers so that we can open up a portal in the quantum verse. It's really difficult, but I think we've figured it out. And that earring is helping us to find the exact place where the lab is so we can like really hone in and get the portal in the right spot. I mean, give or take a few mi miles. Hopefully not miles. <laughs> in the quantumverse, it's not miles. It's really like, you know, <laughs> but for you, it would be miles. So I hope we're accurate enough. Be fun. If we send people that need to be saved back through, could you in a while to handle that? Yeah, we'll be here. Yeah. Thank you. You sure you don't want a, a piece of this action, America? I mean, this woman did all of this exploiting your powers and your abilities. You're well within your rights to want to, you know, mess some stuff up. I mean... I'm good. I would rather just make sure you all get there and back in one piece. That's my role on this team now. And I take that seriously. Well, at the very least, it's uh, our job to make sure we get her to you in one piece so that you can give her a piece of your mind. I wouldn't turn that down. <laughs> um, thing, does thing everybody... Go, go ahead. ahead. No, you. I talked to I, you. I was just going to say, does everybody have their affairs in order? Because there's a possibility that we might not be able to come back. Wait, uh, no, everyone's coming back. I'm making sure everyone's coming back. No one, no one's getting hurt in my watch. Not again. Electra I just hands a letter to uh, America. This is just make sure this gets to you know who. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. I think my new shirt would be alive if I didn't come back, so I kind of have to. It's a promise. You know what's dying on this team? Not while I'm here. Just then, you hear the, like, little, little feet pattering on the ramp coming up from the lower level, which has now turned into a playroom of sorts. And following those little feet are the feet of an adult woman. And into the room bursts Dario, seven-year-old kid of Usnavi, and Selena, who's following after da Dario. Selena is running and saying, Dario, I told you, they're having a meeting. We can't disturb them. <sighs> Sorry. She just kind of looks like, huh? Oh. Dario, <laughs> Dario kind of jumps onto your lap, Usnavi, and says, I miss my computers. Can I have some computers here? Why aren't there any computers? Hopefully. Computers probably don't work very well here, but Yamaya here made a wonderful meal that you should definitely enjoy. And then once we come back, we will go on a very long trip. We'll get to explore some very fun places. Yeah, yeah we don't have the T-Mobile multiversal plan. Those computers work, and they point to the closed door that you all know has America and Uatu's whole computer setup that's closed. And Dario points over there and says, there's computers in there. Why do you know that there are computers in there? <laughs> I can hear them. It's rude to listen in on things that you're not supposed to know. Well, I mean, they're just talking. It's just... Can you, can you hear all mechanical things talk to each other? Mm, yeah. You mean the toaster? The toaster doesn't say much. 
It's just. It... Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh. Hmm. That's surprising. It gets hot. I think too someone long. should check on it. It's probably just blowing its top. <laughs> I don't think it would be good for you to, to mess with uh, their computers. They're very important to them. But I'll get you one of your own. Okay. Can I have the programs I used to, to play with? <laughs> I'll get you some new ones. Oh, okay. Can I build the new ones? Yes. I will have someone help with that. Uh, okay. We will, we'll work on it. Okay. I don't need help, but it's okay. I don't mind someone helping me. I don't need help with computer stuff, usually. It is a good way to make new friends, to give someone to bond over things, even if you don't really have to have the help. Okay. For now, make sure you're eating food. And uh, don't, no matter what anyone says, don't drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, before you even said that, Dario was actually looking all around the table for Mountain Dew. Is there any Mountain Dew on the table right now? Oh, oh yes, the the two liter Baja Blast is in full blast, right, right in front of them, next to their cup. Dario's <laughs> eyes get really wide. Okay, no Mountain Dew while you're gone. <laughs> um, I earmuff Dario. I'm hopefully I'm close enough, but I earmuff Dario, and I kind of like whisper to Usanavi. I'm looking at Usanavi, but like it's to the rest of the group. What if we brought Dario with us? He can speak to computers. It might actually be helpful in this situation. I don't know if that's safe. No place is ever fully safe. Mm. This place is pretty safe. Selena says, um... You know, as much as I want your mission to be successful, I don't think I want to let my kid go off into some creepy lab again. Uh, what if you came um, with us when we get you out? Um, <sighs> mm. yeah. Okay, well, only if we come in and we let Dario listen to the computers and then we get out as soon as possible we just come in for surveillance quick surveillance and then i get you send me and dario back cap what do you think i'm fine with it as long as she is she's the mom dario is her child whatever she says goes in and out that's it i can't put my kid in danger again that's America, can fair. we make that happen? In and out? Yeah, so getting in is going to be the harder part. Once we're in, we'll be able to establish a sh much stronger multiversal connection, and yeah, we can get them right out. Um, the timing will be interesting. We're going to have to coordinate all of your devices, your communication devices, because time will go by slower for you down there. So we'll basically just bring those two right back, and then the rest of you will give you more time. Okay, if we're doing this, then I will have to give my full attention to keeping them safe until they're gone. You do that, Big Papa. Selena looks at you and says, uh, Yeah. Yeah, the call is snappy. Alright, this should be fine. We'll get in and out with no problems whatsoever. Silky smooth. Now, you all are very different from my parents. When my dad found out I was super powered, he laughed for like five minutes. It was like, that's my son. And he was super happy about it. So, you know, this, I guess parents are very different. So I'm very meanwhile, proud of Dario's abilities, but this is uh, dangerous. Very short meanwhile, notice. Dario has turned the earmuffs into like a dancing game. <laughs> and it's like twisting between your hands and like twirling. 
I just figured it might actually be a, a bonding moment for you and Dario as it was for me and my children. I, I will trust your wisdom on this. I have a lot of it. All right. Last minute things that we all need to grab. Um, suit up. Armor up. Mountain Dew up. I yes, don't know. Okay, great. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I say that we meet back here in about 20 minutes. Is that enough for everybody to get their affairs in order? Mm -hmm. yep. 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 John? Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> 20 minutes acceptable for you. Yeah, yeah. All right, 20 minutes it is. They could yeah. eat, eat up their food. So, we have another montage of the team getting ready for this mission. Final preparations. Just really quickly going around. What is one thing that everyone does during this montage? Um, I think Yamaya goes back to her room, grabs a bracelet that her mother gave her, puts it on, finally. Um, does anything happen when she puts it on? Oh yeah. So the gold laces around, it completes the loop around your forearm and then gold strips of almost like magical liquid metal kind of surround your forearm in this intricate pattern. And you can feel that energy vibrating. And you know that if you were to do a movement like you saw your mom do, you'd have the type of weapons that she would have. Excellent. For those people who probably missed who Yamaya's mother is, it's Thena. Uh, so, yes, yes, an array array of, of weaponry. I'm very excited about this. Um, you just see uh, Yamaya kind of just like hold her hand out and she kind of does this a little bit to see like a little bit of a spear pop up. And then she like closes it again. Um, she and... looks at the picture of her two uh children and her husband she kisses her um her frame um and then you kind of just see her start to suit up all right and go ahead and add flat the fast slashes power Woo! <laughs> okay who else oh. in america just puts on their suit Nothing, nothing fancy. Very matter of fact. Slams the shield onto their back. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe does like a grasping the fist thing. <laughs> okay. I think Orion in their room, they were be a bit confused, but people seem to be so dire about the circumstance. They're just like, oh, you're just fighting someone. But you know, it's divinity. But they do. They start to think about like their uh accepting their lineage per se and they they're going to talk into the aliens uh inside their brain and be like can i ask you a favor yeah can can you make like a star like my mom when we change <gasps> on the front yeah you know i've been wanting to ask you mm -hmm. because now you're you're using your powers when you're in your normal human form what do you want to look like you can look like anything i can make you look like anything hmm. well i see this on twitch i have a brand now so i have to maintain with this brand so i just want to make a small change to the brand by putting like this star right on the chest that kind of looks like my mom or sponsorship deals. Got it. <laughs> and you feel that purple energy to just swirl around you and it gathers and swirls on your chest and just among your t-shirt and hoodie and jeans and sneakers, the purple energy forms into a purple star and settles on your chest. Is that color okay? Yeah, that worked. So I okay. can say this side. Oh, no one would expect it. I'm so used to being seven foot two and tall and 
can't hit it. Imagine being my height and then I pick. Oh my God! It'd be the biggest surprise of the century. Wait, we we had to put a we had to put a mask on my face though. I don't want people to see my face. Oh yeah. Okay. Blue energy, the purple energy swirls again and forms. What does the mask look like? Oh, it's pretty much it's the same mask per se, but I think it, it incorporates more of <laughs> Captain Marvel's colors versus the natural uh, 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 purple and blues that was more associated with space per se. You could tell. So there's more like red and golds now, mm -hmm. perhaps. There are more mm -hmm. red and golds, almost as if like they were part of the Marvels, um, the Marvels. Uh, upcoming uh, team show. <laughs> nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. yes, um, and the alien says, "By the way, um, mm -hmm. your that discussion with your parents mm, made me realize Are you I do have a galactic war to get back to. Uh, when can we do that?" Ooh, ooh. So, you know, because I'm like the emissary for my people and I was sent away to like gather power and knowledge and uh, commune with a different being to strengthen my powers. I think we're there now. We need to go fight a war. So what had happened was uh, my family, uh, my parents are still on like the up and up in terms of our connection with one another. So I think we, All right. we, so how parents normally work is you normally have to try to say something very nice, butter them up, make sure they're in a really nice, friendly mood, and then you ask them for something. So we just have to make sure that we do something really nice for our parents to where they're really happy and smiling, and they be like, okay, can we fight this war and see what they do? Otherwise, it's a no. It's access denied for a solid four or five years. On my planet, mm -hmm. we go into the cloud eggs and we shout really loud and then we entangle our tentacles and twirl in a circle really fast. Would that work with your parents? It makes us very happy to do that. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> parents at Earth are a bit different. <gasps> I got it, we'll, we can build a landing pad. They were always talking about that landing pad on, in the house. We can build a landing pad on top so when they come back, like, oh my God, we have a place to land on. And they would they feel like, oh yeah, we did this for you. By the way, can we go ahead and save this planet now? So that my friend came from. And they'd be like, sure. They wouldn't even think about it because they're just so happy they got a landing pad. A landing pad? Mm -hmm. Yes. We shall make them a landing pad. Mm -hmm. What is a landing pad? Oh. Yeah, that, that's a, it's a long story. It's, 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 see, I don't understand how it works. It involves money, and most of my money comes from my parents. Uh, so I just know that if something right. breaks down on the house, that it costs them money, insurances and such. Uh, it, <gasps> you get like soon. Mm -hmm. What if the landing pad is a cloud egg? Ooh, that kind of sticks out. No, we, get, we gotta, we gotta have uh, something a bit more streamlined. It's okay. It's okay. okay. We'll get, we, it, we'll workshop this. You know, like I said, two great minds think alike, and we will slowly yes. get that together. Yes, and then we will forge into battle. Yes, and a whole new planet. Oh wow, that's so exciting! I've been on different multiverses, but only on Earth. I haven't really left the planet. That should be fun. You ready for this? Yes. Let's go! And then they just hop up. <laughs> <laughs> they hop up for the area and, and return with the rest of the group. <laughs> and yeah, anyone who may have been eavesdropping would only have heard. Will they have heard one side of that conversation, yeah, right? Or was it all internal? Uh, yeah, just one side. Just one side. They would be talking about it. <laughs> yeah. That voice is only inside Orion's head. Mm -hmm. It actually sounds different when it externalizes, as we learned. <laughs> when they met the parents mm -hmm. <laughs> very different okay well, well Usnavi yeah. is using his full speed to quickly run around and grab various pieces of equipment and armor for his, his family he's basically dressing them up if you've seen a kid in like a really big puffy jacket for like the winter and they can barely move there he's pretty much doing that to them <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and Dario's arms are just like straight out, basically, <laughs> like face like squished by the hood. That's been zipped up tight. <laughs> Extra precautions. Extra precautions. Um, Selena kind of pats their head and says, "Okay, yeah, I think we're ready." 
Um, and she you actually be a hero, be safe. Yeah, she suddenly just grabs you and hugs you around the shoulders, Orion. Or sorry, not Orion. Who's <laughs> mm-hmm. Navi? Hi. Uh, he returns the hug and actually kind of picks her up. If you've seen that kind of romantic movie trope, and just kind of holds her in the air for a bit. Be careful. We have given enough to be heroes. We can be a little selfish. And I don't think I can afford to lose either of you. Same to you. Come back in one piece, okay? Of course. I always do. And you feel Dario kind of trying to hug, but just kind of bumping against you both, like, (laughs) bouncing off. (laughs) Maybe a little less. A little bit bit too much. Maybe, yeah, maybe we put on one too many layers. I don't know. Nah, that's fine. Um, John, what are you doing to prepare? John is in his little hidey hole. He is going to get his uh, ghost pistols and his old dog packs with his old old name on them. And he's going to just put it around his neck. And, uh, He's gonna listen in if there is someone talking to him on the inside. Yeah, I mean, they're... the chatter has been more lately because those two entities have decided to work together finally. So there's always this constant background noise for you that you may or may not pay attention to, but they're plotting. You can hear them plotting against Mephisto for when the time comes. Constantly so, plotting. It is kind of a sigh as he kind of puts the dog tags around his neck, tucks them in so they don't see them, so people don't see the name. And he's gonna walk out. He has like these underarm holsters over his uniform. And he's okay. gonna walk out. All right. Did we get, yes, uh, Electra, did we get? Uh, Electra has been ready to go. Uh, she's been ready for this all day. So she just kind of, uh, after dinner, uh, cleans up a little bit and uh, helps with that. And then probably just helps wherever she can, getting everybody prepped and ready. Okay. Um, yeah, back in the main room of the home base, America is syncing up all of your devices with Dr. Paint coming around behind her to do some final tweaks and touches on them. And Uatu says, we will be ready to pull you all out after a quick out of game or above game question. Do you all want to be pulled out of this after a certain time, like 30 minutes or an hour? What is your you have a ballpark for that? Yeah, I would say if we haven't gotten this sorted out in an hour, something's really wrong. Okay, so an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then, so the rest of the team gets an hour put onto their watches and synced up with the mainframe here and with America. And Dario and Selena get two minutes put onto their watches. And the syncing up happens, and you all stand in a circle in the main room. So, can I make a point of clarification? Uh, yes. When Yamaya steps in, Yamaya normally does not suit up at all. She's always dressed in a business suit or business attire. But when you guys see her, she's actually dressed in her full armor um, as her one, like herself as an eternal. Um, so it looks a lot like Thena's. It's all like white and um, metallic. She has blue lines to represent um, her oceanic kind of like storm kind of feel. And she has her mother's bracer on. So for the first time, you guys actually have to see, like you see the warrior version of Yamaya step out. Yeah, so the camera kind of spins around this circle, you all facing each other. And we see Orion with the new star and mask and Yamaya suited up and Usnavi and John and Electra already with their weapons and Captain America with the the shield and the star on their chest. And the superhero team is ready. And just as my ring light dies, (laughs) 
we cut to a lab. We are in the main large room, about a hundred feet across, and two Angelas have just stepped through a blue portal. All right, I, I'm going to start needing some more clarification on what's going on now. Of course. Okay, I can give you a quick tour. I think we might have a little time before they show up. Oh, Who's uh, showing up? Well, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Um, Huey? Uh, Jennifer? Uh, round up, everyone. We need to go on the offensive. It is the um, code red that I talked about. It's happening. Wait, did you just you take start... me out of danger into more danger? <laughs> well, I need you here for a reason. We are safer here because there are some precautions in place. Um, right. I, I'm sorry, I should have told you this before, but that child, they were always gonna come back for the child. What I prevented happening was just you getting killed because of what they believe you have done to the child. Dario? Yes, they, they probably took Dario. You, you took me out of there and I could, you couldn't have done anything. You would have gotten killed. I promise you that. It's much better this way. As a team, we are a united front. We have a lot of power. I must get them back. Well, I can try to help you do that. But first, we have to defend this place. And everything I've been working on. And she looks around at the room, and now you see in this big space that somewhat of a foyer, but large, like a warehouse type foyer. On one wall, you see two walls that come to a point, and it's almost like they are themselves cargo doors that could open either up or to the side, you're not sure. And in that point where they meet, there is painted between the two, making a circle, a logo, really large, painted it up in the corner, high up, with what looks like a skeleton outline of a butterfly in the middle. And she says, welcome to the Butterfly Project. Um, thank you, uh, but what is it exactly? Well, and she starts to walk around this big apparatus that's in the middle of the room. And this apparatus looks like um, for 616 viewers, you would recognize it as something that sort of looks like the quantum tunnel that they use in the Ant-Man movies, uh, but with different tech and different um, tech that's sticking out from the top. So there's a platform that's rectangular and probably about 30 feet long and 15 feet wide. And then there's an arc that creating a kind of a tunnel, an opening that you can walk under, and there's lots of tech and devices kind of pointing down and around from the top of that uh, the tunnel roof. Is she walks how, around it, pats it. Is this how you found me? Is this what you used? Well, actually, no. I, I figured out a way to find all the other people with my quantum signature, which, by the way, yes, we're not exactly sisters. We're, we're just the same person <laughs> from different multiverses. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. I know, I sound insane, but I'm not. I promise you that. I'm just misunderstood. I can understand that. <sighs> you see, in my universe, everyone thinks they've got, got it all figured out. We have one side of the ocean that fights against the other side. And I was once employed by one side of the ocean as a spy to covertly gather information on my enemy. And do you know what happened? Do tell. I fell, I fell in love with them. Everything, their culture, their society was beautiful. But I could never be a part of that. And the ideas that I have about what society could be, they rejected them all. Hmm. So I went from one land to another and still didn't find my people. 
so I decided to find my people. <laughs> well, quite literally then, yes. Who else can I trust but another Angela? Everyone else has disappointed me. Too true. Well, I see your thinking, and um, I suppose it's only natural I, uh, I feel I understand what you mean. Now, in your world, universe, whatever, wherever, whatever we may call it, um, who is it that you fight against? There's a team of supervillains. <laughs> they are unilaterally hunting me down and trying to destroy all of my plans. <laughs> so not much different than mine, although, yeah, you know, we've successfully ridded ourselves of, well, most everyone, just <clears throat> one who got away, but... And that one is part of this team. Morningstar. Divinity, Yamaya, Electra, Captain America, John, Morningstar, to oh. Daria. Oh, yes. And <clears throat> the worst of all, America Chavez. So. So what's the plan? They're, they're coming here. How, 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 what are the defenses? What's, what do we have? I'll show you. And she starts to walk off and take you on a tour of this building. And with that, we will take our break. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh-uh. No, nah, it's going down. It's going down now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, what? Are we listening to Fox News right now? I was like, what is, what is, what is happening? <laughs> this fake news. <laughs> oh, I hope you are enjoying <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. Uh, of course, if you like what it is, make sure to join our Discord. We should see in the, the chat section below. We have an area for spoilers, not spoilers. We would love to hear your thoughts uh, about the campaign. For Twitch, we will be back within 10 to 15 minutes for the second half of the new Viagard. Uh, but until then, farewell for now. All right, and we are now back for the second half of Marvel's new Vanguard. So with that, Aliza, take it away. All right. So the joining of the two streams of activity. The group of superheroes are transported via a massive portal by America Chavez, being super powered by the technology of Dr. Paint and Uatu. And you all appear in this room. Many of you have been in this lab before, but you were tiny. <laughs> to remind you all and the 616 viewers, the team previously broke into this lab unknowingly by riding the giant crystals that had been piercing through various multiverses, riding them down. They were being retracted back into their portals and they came back here in a Petri dish, tiny. So there's some tweaks that were not yet worked out with these portals and the technology that harnesses America Chavez's power. But time has passed, and who knows how much time has passed in the quantum verse. And here you all are back in this main room with the blue, the big butterfly logo on the wall up above you. And that strange apparatus. And at first glance, you don't see anyone else in this room. But everyone make vigilance checks. What's her target number? Oh yeah, target number. Ha have they changed the system to reflect our new updated ability scores or is it still? Safe? I don't think so. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think so. So we're gonna, yes, for the 616 viewers, we have re we're recording this finale after they have put out the 1.2 update of the Marvel RPG playtest. So we are doing our best, but we are simplifying the new rules because we have not fully learned them yet. And we want to finish our story and not get too bogged down with rules. 
Um, but yeah, for we'll do a, a vigilance check, just straight vigilance with your. So use your vigilance modifier. Does it ask you for the target number? Uh, it okay. says yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm still figuring out how to adjust the target numbers as well because we didn't get guidance on that in the new update. Um, so I'm going to say uh, vigil vigilance check will be ten. A target number ten. A oh, 23 for Usnavi. I got a fantastic success. Nice. Dr. Angela, you can also go ahead and make this vigilance check. Did you hear me? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so who got... A, who got a fantastic success? Okay, Yamaya got a fantastic... And what was your total number? Um, 18. I got a one on the Marvel die. All right. And then who got 17, 16, 15, I got, 14? I got, the, the, I, got I got 16. I got, a, I got 16. 19. I got 19. 18. Right. Oh, okay. 19. We all passed, oh. I believe. Lots of people passed. Uh, Usnavi, how did you do? 23. Okay, you all passed. I need to adjust these target numbers, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So, you all, a couple of things. Um, I'm going to say that anyone who was seven, 18 and under noticed the big apparatus in the middle of the room. Last time you were here, it looked different. It looked more like a skeleton. This one is decked out with all types of strange tubes and twists and knobs and uh, injectors and things pointing down from it. It also looks like uh, there are some wiring. There was wiring before, but there's more now. Like there's more power that's being piped into this thing. Those of you who got 18 and above or 19 and above, you see kind of a flick in the corner of your eye upward. And just Reminiscent of that other lab where you broke Dario out of their computer monitor desk situation, you see an observation deck. Two plexiglass, thick looking, coming to a point. And at one plexiglass looking through the window is a blonde Dr. Angela. And at the other one is a dark haired, jet black haired Dr. Angela that you haven't seen, you actually haven't seen either of them before. Now, Dr. Angela, with your vigilance check, mm -hmm. you see Dario here. <laughs> can, can they hear through it or is this like a soundproof? It is really thick. Like Real thick. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I think she's sort of like, she puts her hand up against the glass and, and, and is sort of mouthing, you know, like speaking at it. Dario! Dario! Oh. All right, what next? Tell me, we have to get them out. You might not like this next part. And she raises her hand, giving a signal, flicks her wrist. And you all hear a powering up of that machine in the middle of the room. Again, those of you who got high uh, vigilance checks, you notice there's no one else in this room. There's no one waiting for you in this room with you. You're getting the feeling that this was a bit of a trap. Everyone go ahead and roll a resilience check. The target will be higher now. <laughs> target is 20. And Dr. Angela, you and the other Angela are behind that plexiglass, so you do not have to do this resilience mm -hmm. check. Oh, uh, I 15. have, I have eight or resilience check. Wait, is this is this for fatigue or weariness or something? Mm, yeah, not. Mm, you know what? Yes, in a way, yeah. I think you could call it that. Okay. 
15 for Usami. I'll roll for Dario. 15? 21. 21. The failure from me. Okay. Failure. So far, we have just one pass, John. But not everyone's done rolling, so. 25? Yeah, 25. 25, okay, so two pass. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, that was also a fantastic success on the, the Marvel die. Okay. Okay. Was that everyone? Electra, did you? Uh, I failed that, but uh, I would like to say she did get a high um, uh, perception uh, uh, to see what was going on. So she was a 23 on that, and she would have definitely went into attack stance, I believe it is, okay. at that point, which I think, yeah, it just kind of like makes her ready uh, for that. So you get edge on the whatever the next thing is? Yeah, I believe so. I lost that, it. We'll make it so. <laughs> we're okay. we're going to make it that. So go ahead and <laughs> you you now get edge on that resilience check. Okay. Thank you. I feel kind of twisted drinking this. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Murdering you all. <laughs> the hey, uh, Alisa, that would have Alisa made real quick, on the last roll we did, I got a fantastic success. Success. I got a one on that die. Is there any additional information I would have found? Um. So, in, on top of it being a trap, which you all are getting the sense of, <laughs> you, yeah, actually, yes. You're the only one who realizes a lot more time has passed than just a few days. Ah. And yeah, there have been some upgrades to this facility since you last were here. Oh, I don't think I've ever been to, went to the facility. Everybody else did and I was back in... I think you... Did we play as you though? Weren't you? I thought you were in that episode, the tiny episode. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. Uh, um, Yamaya was uh, in their universe and then met John uh, in the universe after that. Oh, they had that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because it was the people who wrote the crystal. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll yeah. say you got a very detailed description of this lab um, from them. And you're like, this doesn't sound like what you described. <laughs> They've done a lot of work since yeah. what you last described. Um, I'm actually going to, like, how close am I to Dario? You're all, you're all in that circle that you were, the, the, American Shadows created a portal around you all, so you just yeah. kind of appeared here. So I'm going to drop to a knee so that I'm eye level with Dario, and I'm going to ask, can, what did the computer say? So in the moments before it finishes powering up, Dario says, oh no. The computers are all around us, and they want to take our power. Don't let them take your power! And then Dario and Selena are brought back to the home base and disappear. But in that moment, those of you who failed that check are going to take... Oh, I don't... Ah, fail! DM fail, I don't have my dice unpacked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Um, okay, yeah, I will get them. One you know, we've we've all been there. <laughs> we've, we've all been, been there. there. <laughs> when it's I... worth it to get them out. Pause for dramatic effect. Yeah. yeah. You know, just Let draw them. draw out the suffering of our impending doom a little bit longer. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I hate I hate how much crap I have. <laughs> um, oh, that was beautiful. You well, said, hey, you well, all take. He just looked oh, around and went, oh. <laughs> Yay, dice. Yay. Okay. Uh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was such a great moment. <laughs> you all take two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I have my post-its. I have my pens. I have my iPad. I have, like, everything else. Not the dice. 
Okay. Okay. Um, you all will take 20 health damage. And you do start to feel weaker. Um, you feel like you're having trouble kind of staying on your feet and the room feels like it's slightly, slight, ever so slightly spinning. The rest of you... This isn't some, a light or laser or anything like that, right? No. Um, the rest of you who passed that resilience check, you felt it as well, but you could feel that, number one, you were able to withstand that. It was jarring for a second, but you were able to recover from it more quickly. And then you know, you also notice the effect it has on your companions. Is everyone okay? I'm real tired of these people. We can go all out now, right? No one else is here. Um, Yamaya, kind of carrying over from that fantastic success you got before, you see up in the viewing booth, the blonde Dr. Angela touched the shoulder of the black haired Don Dr. Angela. And we cut to that room. And she says, well, the child is gone. They were smart to get the child out of here. Where did they go? Do I don't know? know. I don't. But I promise you, I will help you find the child. But first, I need to make sure you're safe as well. She, when she touches your shoulder, you can feel that she has something hard in the palm of her hand. And when it touches you, it kind of latches onto your shoulder. Not painfully, but it is a little surprising. <laughs> and then she pulls her arm back and a suit of armor populates itself growing from your shoulder and all around your arm and your chest and your whole body. <laughs> and then she taps her own shoulder and the same suit of armor populates. Just in case we do have to get our nails dirty. I don't know what, right. what we say that in my world. Oh, yes. No, yeah. we say the same. Okay. Our hands. Our hands dirty, yes. <laughs> um, yes, a shot to uh, level the playing field some. Yes. You might want to stick with me, though, because I only have one of these. And she unlatches what you now realize she was hiding from you before, maybe because she wanted a dramatic reveal. <laughs> Another device attached to her hand. And she like opens it briefly and the blue energy of the portal glows. And she says, if things get really bad, we have an escape plan. And then she closes her fist. Got it. But I want to show them why I really brought them here first. And she turns back to the glass. And then she moves over to the wall, the edge of the glass so she can still see. And she presses a button and she says, well, you all took that pretty well, didn't you? How do you feel invigorated? <laughs> Have you oh. figured out what you're doing here yet? Um, yes, actually. We're not as dumb as we may look to you. Um, oh, I don't think you're dumb at all. Oh, good. So yes, we have figured it out. But so most of us actually just want to probably punch you in the face. But um, I believe that Captain America is going to be a little bit uh, more tactful than I am right now. So Cap, why don't you talk to this doctor here before I... And she just cuts herself off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think any more talking is necessary. So, uh, I have a question for the GM. Yes. Where can John summon his bike? You said when or where? Where? You have to be in the same multiverse as the bike. Oh, never mind then. I'll okay. oh, man, it's something else. Yeah, okay. uh, John started transforming and, uh... Do you maybe want to describe the transformation for the guest? No, I want you to. Ah, I think you had better idea. Never mind. So, this 813, Dr. Angela sees this black and white man in a World War One American soldier uniform, and he just starts smoking. 
and then he starts burning. And then there is a skeleton covered in, in white flame, probably screaming loud enough for her to hear. It's horrifying. It's an actual deep. Oh, wonderful. The fireworks have arrived. I'm, an abomination. I guess we should describe yes. our characters because he doesn't know what we look yeah. like. Um, mm -hmm. So Divinity looks a lot different. Normally, Divinity would be very tall and opposing, like a giant. In this circumstance, Divinity is small. Four foot two with a, a blue helmet around their head and a cloak. And they have like this t-shirt with a star that just comes down to their chest. They clearly look no older, maybe a little older than Dario per se. But they look tiny. A little and a kink that kink that flows behind. Yeah, that's what the divinity looks like. Hmm. Well, I'll go next. Uh, Usnavi is about six foot four in height, kind of dark skinned, and as he's standing there in this world's best dad t shirt, uh, his skin begins to turn almost soaking with this inner blackness. And he kind of looks up at both of you. One of you kidnapped my child. One of you is going to pay for that. <laughs> His child. Who has raised I, that child? Hmm? I think you're quite confused. <laughs> and and uh, she turns to the other Angela. Says, "This one, this one we catch. This one we keep." Yes. You used his child to murder hundreds of people. You really think that entitles you to them? Dario was happy. I showed Dario nothing but love. I showed them a stable home. One that You're wasn't a sociopath. You don't know anything about me. I know anyone who uses children to kill other people isn't anyone I want my child to be around. Or anyone else's. We wouldn't have to take these precautions if folks such as yourself, such an imbalance of power against us were around, we wouldn't have to develop these weapons, develop such defenses if it weren't for you all. That we're just awesome. protecting ourselves. Speaking like a true humanity. human. Yes. The skeleton just points at 813 Dr. Angela and says one word. Guilty. It wants her. It wants her so. These are some big words. Can I break down the glass now? Divinity, I th think it's about that time. Um, let's suit up, shall we? And with that, Yamaya actually starts barking out a battle plan. Basically, it's going to be her with Usanabi, Divinity, and John are going off, and Captain America and Elektra are going to go do their thing. And as she's kind of like sculpting out um, a battle plan, you actually see her start to take flight um, a little bit, kind of like hovering over the group. She's in full armor, looks just like Dina, has her tiara going on, has like kind of the silks going on in between, like a skirt. And as she's doing this, she kind of like pulls her arms out. You start seeing like the armor um, that Dina would normally come up with, with her spear and a shield, um, kind of like outlined going on, but it's silver instead of gold. Um, she's a little pissed because kids are a very big soft spot for <laughs> Yamaya. So as she's saying this, um, I'm actually an acting battle plan. Um, so I inspire one or more allies, so my entire group. Uh, that's an earshot up to the character's rank, so it's rank four. Um, inspired allies gain an edge on all action checks until the start of the character's next turn. There are five of us, so one of us is going to be out of, out of this. Me. Oh, sorry, there are six of us in the party, and you can <laughs> oh. only inspire four of us. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean. What's it going to be? It's like choosing mm. your favorites. I know, right? <laughs> a worthy parent. I mean, a John, parent, I, right? John, I'm going to say because you already activated yourself. I feel like maybe you might not have heard me. <laughs> he is no. not. That's not John that's standing there right now. <laughs> yeah. 
that's the other guy. <laughs> and, I don't know uh, the other guy, so... <laughs> It's going to be Usanavi, Captain America, Electra, and Divinity that, that get the inspiration. Uh, simultaneously, Dr. Angela turns to the other Dr. Angela. Says, uh, you do have a plan for this, right? <sighs> and may I activate battle plan? <laughs> oh, yes. shiza! No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why, yes. I do have a plan. And she flicks her wrist again. <laughs> and uh, let's... Mm, no, she's going to get one more off and then we'll do, do initiative. <laughs> uh, resilience check, 20s. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend a point of karma to reroll this. Mm -hmm. I mean, me too, because I just had a got a fantastic failure and no, no surrey Bob. No surrey Bob. Ooh. I don't okay. need to pass. I just need to not have a fantastic failure. Goodness. I, I think I might use karma on this one myself. Oh, let's go. What? What did you get? I rolled a six. So now I have a fantastic success instead of a fantastic failure. Um, how do I use karma on here? My apologies. I'm sorry to use oh. this system. Oh, you just, uh, sadly, you have to roll a d6 and then just remove the lowest number that you have. So you just roll a d6 dice. You don't have a, a mechanic yet to uh, use edge. Yeah, okay. I rolled a six on my d6. So now it's a two, a one on the marble die, and a six. So that makes it a fantastic success. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay, so I got a four on mine. Okay, so that replaces your lowest die. Oh, okay. Oh wait, where's yeah, which is my Marvel die? Cool. Uh, what is your mar? What was your Marvel die? Three. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. It's still a failure, so, right? Mm -hmm. So just bump it to nineteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I like math, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like math. Um, uh, yeah, I I pass. So, uh, another fantastic. That's uh, what he said. All right. So sum up for me. So Orion, uh, yeah, Orion, who else passed? Uh, Rude of Fantastic. 21. Okay. Electra, how did you do? I got a 24. Uh, I got a fantastic failure, but it's a, I did a karma reroll. It's still 19 out of 20, so it's still, still failure. And uh, my Marvel dice was not my only one, so. Okay. All right. And then Usnavi, did, sorry, did you say you passed? Yeah, 21. Okay. All right. So Yamaya and Electra. Uh, I did. Yeah. 20 more damage. Oh. You need to get out of this room. And yeah, that wave. Most of you were kind of more ready for it this time. Uh, but it still is jolting for all of you. But Would you uh, say that this has like, like a stun effect on the party? Yes. Cool. I've been doing that narratively and yes, mechanically. But again, we're doing rules light tonight. So yeah, I, the only reason I ask is because I actually have a power for this. And oh, OK, it, what is your yeah, power? It's keep moving. Um, uh demoralized your stun condition ends so if like they're actually under the stun condition that's not a thing uh captain america's like we need to get out of this room yeah that works yep um, you can do, and use it here yamaya also has healing factor um so i can keep healing myself and it works outside of combat too okay yeah i'm gonna spend I'm going to spend some focus to heal myself up as well. So, um, Dr. Angela says, well, every time you are getting better and better at withstanding that, when I add their powers to my collections, it's really going to make this, this tech really shine. They really are incredible specimens, don't you think? Yes, specimens that need uh, squashing, perhaps. But... <laughs> To harness their powers, is that what you're doing? Yes. Incredible. 
Now, do you see why I need you here? I would be honored to help with this, yes. Good. Um, what do you, the Angela see when they look down? What are you all doing? We're getting ready to bust into that room and oh. mess them up. Yeah. Uh, Electra would stealth. Um, she would try to make herself as unseen as possible because it's kind of her jam. Okay, where, okay. Uh, let me describe the space a bit more to you. So there's basically two points. There's an inverted point that you could walk into, which is what looks like the cargo doors. Um, this is where Usnavi, when you were tiny, you like went through a crack through these cargo doors and saw that you were in the quantum verse. So that's one side of the room. The observation deck is across from that and above. Below the observation deck are is a hallway that leads to those lab rooms that you all arrived in when you were on in the petri dish. There were the there were rooms with chairs that people could be strapped into and with tubing and wiring connected to them, which you now probably realize what that was for. Um, behind plexiglass and then the lab side of things and then security guards back there from what you remember last time, however long ago that was. And then to the right of that is another hallway with a big heavy door. And you can see like a tiny window that just leads back and you see like rows and rows of what looks like doors perhaps. And then to the left is just one door just big wall, one door leads somewhere. Um, she will probably stealth under the observation area to kind of get below where the Dr. Angela's are. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and roll your stealth. Uh, target number. Target number is 17. I see a fantastic Ooh. success. Nice. All right, so Electra. Yeah, you stealth your way under that observation deck as the rest of the group is pretty much distracting the Angelos for now. And um, you get to a place where the Angelos can't see you. And now just to your right, if you follow this wall along, you'll be facing that hallway that leads to the um, the lab rooms. Uh, I think she's going to hold any action from here to see what the group does, because I think in her mind, if they're going through that window, she might just take the opportunity to hop up there instead. So she, she's going to wait right where she is. OK, what are the rest of you doing? Yeah, that's what Divinity does. Divinity pretty much just flies up and just tries to yoink uh, that uh, the plexiglass off of the hinge. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be incredibly difficult. Can I assist with this. that? Because I am also very strong. Yeah, I want you both to roll for this. And is there a control panel for the door? Which door? The door leading out of here. Uh -huh. Oh, the big cargo door? Yeah. Go ahead and roll Vigilance to look for one. Okay. They can. What's my target us. number? Can they? Okay, so for a control panel, it's going to be 15. And then for those of you trying to tear open the plexiglass walls, that's going to be 25. We got a fantastic success. All right. So while they're rolling their uh, mic checks, Cap, you look around the room and you're starting to like notice where all the wires are leading to and everything. And sure enough, you do see one of those wire channels, you know, like a little tube that you know is running from like a light switch up into the ceiling. You see one of those running towards the door. And so you follow it back the other way and you do see a small control panel in a corner of the room to the right of the big cargo doors. 
Uh, I think Captain America will head. Sorry, it's covered, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, Captain America will head in that direction. Okay. See if they can figure out an escape plan of our own. Well, all right. And how did those mic checks go? Um, so I rolled not a 616, but a 666. So that would be 18 plus 16, which would that be... That though, she was up. <laughs> <laughs> which would be 34? Oh wait, the, okay. is this a? Uh, oh, this this is an attack. So yeah, this this wouldn't use my plus twenty five out. It's an attack. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, got it. All right, how much damage do you do? Oh, oh, this. Uh, was, ooh, ooh. And six times eight. Forty eight. <laughs> 28 damage? No, 48. Six times eight? Yeah, 48. Six times eight, 48. All right, Yamaya, how did you do? Well, I failed, because you said this is an attack, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I already failed. Okay. All right, so you both fly up, and how do you, do you, actually, you describe what do you do to this um, Orion, to this gla plexiglass? So, Divinity, what's the day receive the word to to unleash uh they fly forward and because this is not a creature they don't have to worry about touching it and it dying so they're going straight <laughs> straight forward with just uh, a fist straight into it so almost like yeah and yeah and pretty much attempting to smash right through uh the glass to where they're next to Okay. Yeah, you fly at it with your fist forward and just with your full force and your full might pff, slam into it. And when you pull back and see what effect it had, you see a slight crack where you hit. And Dr. Angela uh, looks at the crack and says, well, he hits hard, doesn't he? Yes, should we be concerned? Perhaps. <clears throat> um, are, are we safe here? Should we move? Do you have another another observation booth, perhaps? <laughs> <sighs> she uh, turns away from the glass, and you can hear this, Dr. Angela. She says, Arnold, turn it up more we need more juice do it now perhaps some help then yes perhaps yes Usnavi <sighs> is going Usnavi is going to fly over to the glass so he's as close as possible to them and for just a moment the light and temperature of the room is going to be absorbed by him and uh, giving his allies enough time to cover their eyes because he's going to use supernova and it's going to attack every enemy within 25 feet of him. Okay. Rolling. Actually, as a side note, um, I think uh, Yamaya would use her mom's weaponry to actually create, like, sunglasses. <laughs> uh, I am going to use the point of karma to just get, to really make sure this hits. And it's cool. uh, as a reaction, Dr. Angela turns to Dr. Angela and says, remember, I always have a plan and I do have a better way. And she activates change of plans. So mm -hmm. Dr. Angela gains an edge on the next action. action. Check. <laughs> well, yes, I am particularly and I, and I upset. Think you, you should also have an edge from the battle plan earlier, right? <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. I am going to use combat trickery to turn my marble die into a one, which will give me a fantastic success for a total of 10 plus 6, 16, 29 to, to hit them. Okay, so, so who are you trying to hit? And with what? Every, and how? every enemy within 25 feet of me. Through, so there's glass. You yeah. would have to hit the glass then. That's your everything. target. It's just, I am exploding with heat and light. So whatever 
I don't know, whatever I have to hit in the meantime, I will hit. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, it's the glass. Uh, you got a 29, yeah? Uh, total damage on that will be 6 times... D6, so 6 times 4, which is 24. Then I have my thing from my power, so 13. So 37 13. times 2. Yeah, 37 times 2, 74 points of damage total. All right. That's fantastic. And they're blinded. Well, uh, they could, could be a blinded. It'd be up to you if it happens or not. This glass is protective. So as long as this glass stays up, nothing's getting to these Angelus. But with that blast of energy radiating out from you, Usnavi, more cracks form in the glass. And Dr. Angela says, okay, it might be time for plan B. And <laughs> right, she, yeah, yeah. She opens her palm and the blue energy field radiates and she doesn't try to hide this from you all anyway, anymore. Um, she kind of pulls the energy out and like draws the portal circle. And then she pulls the other Dr. Angela through it. Copycat. <laughs> The portal closes. Uh -huh. What do you all do? Cap. Uh, Captain Cap. America still uh, goes over to the uh, panel and uh, opens it and immediately starts trying to figure out how to get this door open. All right. Um, they're gonna try it the they're gonna try it the easy uh, they're gonna try it the tech way first and then if things don't go their way they'll bust out the shield and start just hacking this thing off the wall so okay so we never ruled initiative but mm -hmm. i'm gonna cap, go ahead and do this check to see if you can bust the door open if you can't do it this way this first way i will have you all roll initiative against the room okay <laughs> is this gonna be a logic check to... what's that is this gonna be a logic check Yes, logic check. Target number is 20. All right, I might not pass this one, but I do have, I have advantage on it, on just because of inspiration, don't I? Leave that as still added. Yep. Sorry. All right, cool. Here we go. All right, that is a failure, but not by much. So I'm going to go ahead and use that edge to re roll this d6 and see what happens. Um, I think that passes. I think that meets. 10, 4, 7, 10, plus. Yes, I'm, I, I pass. Okay. How do you um, get this control to start working for you? Um, uh, Captain America comes from a technologically advanced society. Um, so they just kind of like start with uh, like basics. Um, they uh, they probably have some sort of device on them that sort of is able to like that is essentially like like a, a really high end sort of like code scanner type of thing that they can just slap on the side and like do a little bit of programming on, um, and that like eventually breaks the the um, the code for the door. Um, okay. As it starts to open, they turn back over their shoulder and said, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Um, all right. So now I am going to have us all roll initiative uh, before this door starts rolling up. What? Initiative, initiative. Um, um, sorry. Uh, yes, initiative. Since I have a, uh, what was the one, uh, situational awareness, does that mean I get to reroll the lowest one? What does your situation, situ what does it say? Uh, it says that I have advantage on initiative checks. Yes. Or edge on initiative checks. Yeah, so you reroll one of your die. So that would be the one? Uh, the yeah, whichever is the lowest. Six. A one on a Marvel die is not the lowest, though. Just remember oh, that. I am dumb. Which one? Oh, is you got a one on your marble deck? Uh, no, I got a six. Oh, okay. So yeah, I got twenty-one 
Oh, 20. 20. Awesome. I have to I have to be honest here and say I screwed up my math. Um, okay. I rolled a 19 versus 20, so I still failed. Um, On the door? Yeah. So. Okay. All right. I also have 20 on initiative. All right, I will go through um, and get all of your initiatives. Oh, crap. I'm about to lose my iPad. It's going to die. <laughs> Apple! <laughs> no, it's not Apple. It's literally just travel. It's travel. Oh, travel, okay. <laughs> yeah, travel. it's just like, yeah. Um, <laughs> So that just means I won't have access to your to the sheets for a little bit because I can't really fit them on this little screen. But that's okay. Um, okay, so who got above a twenty on initiative? What do you want? All right, twenty-one and Usnavi. twenty. So uh, Usnavi is twenty-four. Oh wait, Usnavi twenty-four. And then 21 is Divinity. And then I got a 20. Cap. 20 is cap. I got a 20 as well, Yamaya. I got a 20 as well. Oh, we have three 20s. So what are all of your vigilances? Uh, my vigilance is five. My vigilance is three. Three? three? <laughs> okay. So Cap, and now you two, what's your agility? Uh, five. Five? Uh, six. Okay. John, and then Yamaya. All right, who got 15 or up? 10 or up? Electra? Uh, 14. 14. And then who's left? Just the Angelus? Oh yeah, did you want did you want me to roll? Yes, please. Okay, gotcha. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Oh. Did hey, and remember edge to edge add edge. Yes, we do get edge on this. <laughs> and so that means I just re-roll the D6, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, you can replace that lower. It's the same, <laughs> it's the same as my lowest, so yeah, 21. Okay. All right. Uh, did you add your initiative to that? Oh, to the number roll? Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't it do that automatically? Oh, it, it, it did it. I did it. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. cool. <laughs> I have to manually add it. Okay. Sorry, what was yours, Josephine? 21. 21. And then uh, Divinity and and Angela, oh. what are your vigilances? I have 12. I'm pretty sure my vigilance is super low. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I, I thought you meant your vigilance. <laughs> okay. uh, my vigilance uh, is a 3. Okay, I think um, ours is higher. Mm -hmm. No. No. Same. It's oh, it's the same? What? What is Agility? Uh, also, not the speediest. Uh, also a three. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're ahead there. Yeah. Angela and then Orion. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew, interesting. Okay. So that is and one more for me. <laughs> okay, we got a whole array of things going on here. <laughs> First up is the room. Everyone in the room still rolls. Resilience check, target 20. All right. Resilience check. 
failed. Another success. What do you eat? I also feel that I'm gonna roll uh I'm gonna roll with with Edge and spend some karma for Edge. Mm-hmm. And spend some karma to get to, to succeed. No, I rolled worse. To fail. I failed. <laughs> I didn't roll worse, I rolled the same. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 16 damage on this one from the room as that and you feel the pulse of energy surge through your bodies again. Next up is Usnavi. I'm just going to go ahead and blast a hole in this piece of glass here. And I'm going to spend focus to shrug off that damage. Okay. Um, Usnavi, which, which, which glass are you blasting hole in? Because we're not behind it anymore. If, yeah, the Angelus are not understanding in- there is no other doors that are open in this room outside of where they were and so he's trying to leave the room by blowing a hole in the in the glass okay so i got a one on the marble dice i believe that is a fantastic success yes that means double damage well, i have an edge on this attack so i'm just gonna see if we can get an ultimate <laughs> we don't we don't get an ultimate, so it was five. <laughs> eleven plus one, twelve. Oh no, no, it's a six. So eleven plus six, seventeen plus thirteen, thirty, to hit. That hits. Twenty-four damage plus thirteen, thirty-seven. Would you just put forty total? Cause I'll spend some focus to actually increase the damage of the hit. So 40. Did you double the damage? Because you got a fantastic success. Oh, right? it is. So yeah. then it would be doubled to 80. 80. All right. Yeah, so more cracks are deepening and just like spidering out from your impact. Glass is this, though. Where did you buy it? <laughs> this is not I Ikea, this. that's for sure. Clearly uh, not Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snavi, that's your turn? Yes, it is my turn. Then, Angela, you are up next. Where are we? Well, <laughs> I'm going to message you. <laughs> okay, great. I hate, I hate, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> this is, you would, she it's would even, all bad. She would even say it like, where are we? Yeah. Bring me back behind him. Okay. Yeah, that's actually, I was just going to ask, where do you want to be? <laughs> Okay. Bring me so, hat. Yeah. I, behind Morningstar. He's in the air right now. Great. Okay. Uh, that's the GM telling you that. Yes. But, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but mm. you want to be near Morningstar, yeah? Yeah. 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 That's. Uh, well, if we can't get Morningstar, we just need to capture one of them. Okay, so wherever we're in a secret place, and um, mm-hmm. the other Angela says to you, you know, we could use some flying power. Yes, we could. Hmm. Silence is deadly. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting I'm going to take a note for you. <laughs> I was, I was just... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, she whispers that to you. <laughs> oh, yes. Great minds. Mm-hmm. After all. all right. ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Bring me in where you think is uh, most advantageous. All right. Um, she uh, reopens the portal and brings you back, you both back to outside of the lab now, outside of those big double doors. Okay. And so what you see is what I'm about to put on the back of my screen, which is the swirling psychedelic colors of the quantum first. And this is the first time you're probably realizing where this lab is. Actually, 
I don't know if your character would even know what the quantum verse is. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of weird stuff has happened to you at this point. You're like, this makes sense. <laughs> you know what? I trust you. <laughs> I trust me after all. So, yes. So you are now standing outside of those doors. Um, do you want me to open them? I can open them. <clears throat> yes, let's do it. And uh, I'll just uh, prepare to do an energy blast whoever's on the other side okay. of those doors. All right, so on Angela's uh, turn, she will use an easy action to open the doors, and then you can have your prepared action. Um, okay. So that's gonna, she's gonna hold. All right, next up is Divinity. Um, but yeah, Divinity's going to follow suit, seeing as the plan is, because they see this gas continuing to come in, and they're not sure how their friends is handling it. So they're going in and tip to um, pretty much dial forward X, uh this glass uh sure you can and so with that they're going to use uh the first time ever they're going to use the power they're going to use a uh, smash um uh, give them an edge on the attack um and yeah actually gives me two edges that's also my signature so you see you see them kind of like lean back a bit and you see now the, the kitty gloves is slowly starting to come off because they can't grab something to be like you're not hurting you. Okay. Yeah, I can okay. Yes, perfect. Okay. Right. It was fantastic. Thirty-two to hit the glass. Thirty-two hits. Okay, and they're going to use. They're going to use thirty focus. Okay. Did you get a fantastic success? You said yes. Uh, when I used All my right. edge, it gave me a fantastic success. And All right. that gave me. Is a hundred and forty eight down. Right? Seventy eight times two? No. <laughs> that is a hundred and fifty. Fifty four. Fifty four times two. Yeah. One fifty four. Oh, one fifty four? Yes. Alright. <laughs> Glass is only slightly cramped. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the kitty gloves is no longer off. They're just like, oh, I don't have to just hold something now. This is actually causing me a challenge. Here we go. <laughs> and, you just, and you just see them just pretty much just wind in and just smash. You took this smash through this glass, like full on over Archie. Uh, over Archie. Because he has no tech team. Tech team. He's just all, all, uh, of course. United States okay. of Smash. Pretty much. Yes. United <laughs> States of Smash for my, uh, my Hero Academia fans out there. <laughs> so, yeah, with that next smash, you take a lot of health out of. What you realize now is a first layer of thick plexiglass, but that first <laughs> layer is shattering. And it's like held together with some type of film, but you can see that there's just cracks. It, it's getting pummeled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, now third turn. Okay, that was Divinity Cap. All right. So Cap did not manage to successfully unlock the door. So they're going to take they take their shield from their back, flip it with one hand, grab it, and then just kind of go on on the actual uh, thing. Just gonna see if they can short circuit it if the door's open. Okay. Um, target good old, good old shield bash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Target number's gonna be 20. Sure. And, and that's go gonna ahead. be my might. Might tap. My attack. Hopefully, I can actually do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't need to worry about a damage modifier, right? Uh, no. Nope. I can't even hit something that's stationary, y'all. 
Oh. Wait, can you use Edge? I guess so. <laughs> Might as well. If it's still if it's still active, I can, I guess. So the inspiration just is it just keep rolling? Or do we only get it the one time? That's what just I don't the, understand about it. Just, oh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an edge, normal edge, so just one. Yeah, you have any karma left? I have I mean, one karma. Uh, exactly one. Gotcha. But we need to get out of here, and I feel like it's important. Um, rack. No, I I'm not gonna spend it on this. We're no. Uh, we need to get out of this room. Sorry, I'm being indecisive. Um, yeah, what's gonna be? Well, you already... I, 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 I wouldn't mind opinions from the rest of the group if they if they have opinions to share. It's the last um, episode. Do the thing. Yeah, that's what you have a. That's what you have. Get the right. down, get, get the win. Ah! Uh, no. Nope. It's like gambling. <laughs> Well, I tried. I literally can't hit something that's stationary. My luck. Anytime I get into melee with anything, I can't hit it. It's Should have fine. thrown the shield. Let's try it next time. <laughs> I mean, not that I have much better luck with that, but you know. I plugged in my iPad. I forgot I had a whole diff different thing I could plug it into. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Travel! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Travel! <gasps> uh, good times. Okay. So, Cap, what happens when you try to smash the control pin? Oh, you're muted. One Thank more time? Me. I said, what happens when you try to smash the control pin? Um, I think they do manage to actually hit it. I just think that instead of it, like, short-circuiting the, the, um, the door and like unlocking it, it just sort of makes things worse. It's a little bit like when Han Solo tries to short circuit the doors on Endor and it just ends up closing like another set of doors. It's a little bit like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So now the door is like, you could tell it's trying to move, but it, it can't quite move. All right. And John. Oof, uh, John is probably gonna try to. Well, what are the door made out of? Try to what? Some. Uh, it's gonna, uh, what are the door made out of? Out of. Oh, what is the door made out of? It looks like some type of uh, corrugated metal. God. Um, let's melt it. Melt it. All right. Uh, okay. So, yeah, target number for the metal doors is, wait, it's 25. Oh, uh, I didn't use my attack for this, right? Mm-hmm. Target defense is 25. Oh, I forgot I have to roll this manually. Oh, oh no. Uh, one five. Uh, I don't know. Just a random number, and then I'm gonna calculate it proper. Uh, I don't hit, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you, how do you, do you just like, what do you, what do you, what does it look like? He's gonna try to touch it and channel the hellfire through his uh, skeletal thingies. Mm hmm. Okay. So you're doing that, and you don't see it having much effect. Um, but. The ghost in there is getting very agitated by this, by this room. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, Yamaya. Um, Yamaya kind of looks at Usanavi and Divinity and then like the glass and is kind of like, I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this. So she touches down and goes to the door where John was at trying to melt it. And she goes, need a hand? And she's going to try to punch it with all of her might. Okay. I'm rolling manual dice because <laughs> 25. Oh. Sorry. So I got a one on my marble dice, so yay me. That's okay. So far, so good. 
Um, what was, I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you what the target number was here. 25. Yeah, no, didn't get close. So I'm gonna use a karma here. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll my lowest. It is now a six, which I don't think that helped any, but 12, 13. Yeah, no, definitely not even close. Wait, but hold on. What? Wait, what's the numbers you have? Two sixes, so that's 12, right? Mm -hmm. And a and one. Then you add your modifier. I did not add my modifier, silly girl. Uh, quick. Cool What's thirteen plus eleven? Twenty-four. Oh, there you go. There you go. So twenty-four. Oh my Did what? you already? Did you already use your edge from the karma? I did not. Okay. Well, you could. You're one away from the target number. How does that remind me? How does that work again? So if you spend a point of karma, you can reroll one of your die. And you would just need to roll one number, at least one number higher than- Oh, no, okay, yes, yeah, so no, I, I just did, did I did that, oh, and you that's did how do I got that. the six, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, so that, that got, got you to 24. So yeah, not quite either with the metal uh. door, unfortunately. Uh. Does it make a dent at least? No, you have to do damage to make a dent. Not even a dent, dang. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Corrugated metal, y'all. Um, well, but also while that's going on, I do get to regain some health. Okay. All right, you do so. And now, going back outside, we see the Doctor's Angela's. <laughs> doctor's Angela? The Doctor's Angela. Um. G uh, GB313 Angela has her palm open and is pressing something on her wrist and she sees the door goes <laughs> that is not what it's supposed to do <laughs> we may need another change of plan or unless wait she whispers to you <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm listening. <laughs> Sorry for the typos. <laughs> Um, so, Dr. Angela is going to say, What's the matter? Having trouble with the door? She shouts this through, from the outside. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you who are by the door definitely heard that. <laughs> Which is, like uh, Cap, John, and Yamaya. Yeah, and that's what Cap says in response. I know. Yeah, I know. I was just clarifying for everyone. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. That is a raspy go to hell from the skeleton. Now, um, Dr. Angela, mm -hmm. uh, do you want to still be sent somewhere via portal? Because uh, you absolutely still can. Yeah. Can you can you put her? Uh, she has put me somewhere behind uh behind something keep me hidden for now but all right bring me in so i can see uh see that machine okay so yep she opens her palm in a different place pulls out that portal makes you a portal and sends you through it uh, i'm gonna text you where you appear mm -hmm. sounds good can't with this this woman. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna ricochet the crap out of her. <laughs> that elf off had a lot of lace. <laughs> we about to fill it. I brave you to it, she'll be gold. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. One more thing I'm sending you. 
Somewhere, somewhere, there's a Dr. Angela. <laughs> Um, that last thing I just sent you, so after uh, Dr. Angel's action, which is to send you where you want to go, um, mm -hmm. would you like to do that last thing I Yes. Said? Okay, uh, go ahead and roll that. Don't say it, what it is. Oh, oh. What do I, what do I roll? Okay, yeah, I'll send you a message. <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, so do I need to do it off, off roll 20? <laughs> oh, well... No, no, you don't actually. It's fine. Okay. okay. Um, it could be anything. Yeah, exactly. No, it could be mm -hmm. anything. Uh, but give me one second. You know what? Actually, no. Who has the highest vigilance out of the party? Um, I my total action modifier is eleven on that, so a seven for the actual ability score. Okay. Yeah, ability score. So seven for Snappy oh. for vigilance. For vigilance, yeah. Without okay. the action modifier. Yeah, just that center column number. Oh, mine's a six. All right. Seems like Uznavi has the highest. So Uznavi, what is your vigilance defense score? Twenty-one. What is it? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay, that's your target number, Doctor Angela. Okay. And I just sent you the what you need to roll. Okay. Feel targeted by Doctor Angela. Feel <laughs> hard. Hmm. Um, could I use karma? You sure can. You have <laughs> yeah, no, I'll use one, yeah. First I want karma to go back. Oh great. <laughs> why why does my karma keep doing this? <laughs> I keep for our podcast listeners, that was the exact the, same number the as exact, <laughs> I keep rolling the exact same on every yes. every die re-roll. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was so that was uh, a failure then. Okay, so Unless there's um, an ability that I can't see. There's there's a lot on this character sheet. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't let me. I'll look real quick, but I think that might be. That just might be what it is for now. Um. Um. Yeah. There's nothing really about this particular thing you're doing. So, <laughs> unless other Doctor Angela wants to react with her one reaction well she's outside okay but she she's she's gonna be looking out for you never <laughs> you fear um but what happens is you try to quietly open the door and sneak into the room mm -hmm. but you're halfway through this door and usnavi you just sense something has changed in the room. You look down and to your right from up, up above where you are at the observation deck, you look down into the right and that right side of the building, you see an Angela trying to stealth into the room. <laughs> don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. With, <laughs> Gustavo, you will lock eyes with her, letting her know that okay. he, he is coming. All right, okay. So next up, so that was Dr. Angela's held action. And now we are at someone else. Oh no. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so all of a sudden, from behind Dr. Angela and from every other entry point in this room, which there are, besides the cargo door, not that one, but the other three doors that have been established in this room, come pouring out security guards in riot gear. And in some kind of metallic suits as well, um, fully covered, face shield and everything. Um, and they're just shouting and like, Get down! Run, 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 run. <laughs> um, it is chaotic and madness. Um, now this is going to be not an uh, like physical attack. This is going to be an ego check for everyone, except for Doctor Angela. The target number is nineteen. To see if this affects you, if this kind of throws you off. Ego, ego. 
brush my shoulder off. Okay. 21 for Usnavi. <laughs> you seem surprised. 22 for Yamaya. Okay. for John. All right. No one's phased. Oh, wait, Except for yeah. Electra. Electra's a little oh. phased. Oh, wait. No, yeah. she's not. She's fine. The 19, <laughs> you say, was the... 19 is the target number. Ooh, e oh, Ego? I I have 12. Oh, but that's not bad. I just are my level. Oh, ah, much better. Uh, what was that for? Okay, so none of you are phased. You may be just momentarily like, huh, but you're fine. None of you is phased. You see these metallic security guards in riot gear come and a bunch of them uh, become like a human shield in front of Dr. Angela. Um, others start to crowd and surround those of you who are on the floor uh, near the door and they are getting in position to, I don't know, crowd control or something. Uh, next up is Electra. Get her, Jade. Yes. Um, I actually have two react. I have two reactions that I can do with something. So, as a reaction before my action, uh, as a, a reaction to that, uh, she's going to take untouchable position, which is the character's enemies struggle to gang up on them, and the attacks against them have trouble until the start of their next turn. Okay. Uh, and uh, on top of that, she's also going to take her action, which is attack stance. And uh, where is that? Um, she is. Uh, uh, the character enters an aggressive attack stance, ready to strike in any direction. Um, and uh, she's holding her reaction, uh, her second reaction that will follow this. Uh, but she also gets a plus one to her physical damage if she does choose to attack anything. And I think that that is probably the best she can do. Oh, she will move into a better position so that she's kind of like seen now. She's definitely out of stealth and standing there pretty tough. Okay. All right. So now um, they have trouble if they try to gang up on you. Uh, and that's your turn. Uh, yes, but I am still holding a reaction that if I am attacked, I can go out the way. Okay, great. All right, we are back at the top of the round, and it is the room. And the room has now, whoever's operating the room has now had time to make some adjustments to the strength. So, resilience check, 25. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, that, failure. Does Angela and the folks have to roll it too since they're in the room now? Angela is wearing a special suit. Oh my god! <laughs> Fantastic success. For As are the security guards. Fantastic success. All right. This is fine. This is fine. We just oh, need yeah, to get out of this room or whatever. This is fine. This is fine. So Uznavi passed. Who else? John, John passed. Just barely. I got a 25. I had to re-roll with my karma. Okay. John also passed. Mm-hmm. And Cap, you said you passed? I failed. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no way. Okay, and then, um, Electra, you... No. Okay. Not even um, <laughs> Room rolls. Damage. Ooh, sorry. It's gonna be twenty-four damage. Oh no, it's doubled because that was a one on the Marvel die. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's a forty-eight. Yes. Ah! <laughs> cool. How how are you looking? Um, this is not this is not going great for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do the we two need to you... we need to figure out what the hell we're doing? Because this is how not do the two great. of you look to the other party members right now? I mean, I've been shrugging off a lot of damage. This is going to be the first hit that you actually see Cap take instead of just shrugging off. Not because 
Not because I don't have the karma to spend, but because I feel like I need to hold on to some of it. Not karma, sorry, focus that I need to... Yeah, so this this one brings Captain to their knees. Um, they take a knee and kind of brace themselves against their shield. Um, yeah. Okay, and Electra, what do they see? What do your party members see when you take this energy? Uh, yeah, she's uh, pretty roughed up. Um, I say that kind of like lifts her out of her boots there for a second. Um, but again, she's still holding strong to her stance. She just, uh, she looks a little, little electrified. Okay. But, um, I think what you did. <laughs> put it that okay. in post. I'll put it that in post. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next up is Uznavi. Well, I'm gonna fly at Dr. Angela Winston. Okay. And I'm gonna use Supernova to just blow up everybody over there. <clears throat> All right. Fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's, so there's no physical barrier now. There's just the, the flesh barrier, but yeah. Your Supernova uh, is in range now. I'm gonna and... use my last point of karma here. Okay, so Supernova... I think this is a resilience check for Angela, maybe? Oh yeah, let me know what I need to... Because it's like an energy blast, right, Usnavi? I, I believe it's just agility. It's an attack against their agility defense, but let me, let me double check. Yeah? It'd be agility or... Against the agility defense of every enemy within 25 feet. Okay. okay, so Dr. Angeli, do you see your agility? Oh wait, I have to tell Usnavi. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 18. <gasps> 18 for Dr. Angela, and then the henchman, it's 15. Or oh, the 25. So nice. big damage, and then okay. if they have line of sight, they are blind or dazzled for a turn. Ah. Four times rank, uh, so 16. What does that do? Mechanically. Oh. So I'm looking at all these the, There is a, if, if there's anyone between 25 and 50 feet away, they take half the damage, by the way. So, so is that everyone else in this room, you mean? I don't know how big the room is, but, so, if the, if the other enemies are within, are in that 25 to 50 feet away from me, then yeah, they would take it. They would take the damage too. Yeah, and the room is- 39. 100 feet from end to end, when I said the right side and the left side, th those are 100 feet apart. I imagine that you were slightly to the right because that's where Dr. Angela is. And then the doors, I think they would be b within 25. They would probably be closer to like 50 feet. Like centered on this side of the room. I do have a map here. And if they have line of sight, they are also blind, the stash so. dazzled. The yeah. sun is bright. Um, Electra, where were you standing? Um, she would have moved uh probably right into the area, not like straight up on the security guards, but like far enough distance away so that it like almost looks like her versus them. Like she's kind of squaring up on all of them at the same time from close yeah, they're... but not super close. There are a lot of security guards and they basically um, teams of like six of them have each kind of grouped around each of you. Um, She'd pick a central location amongst them that if any of them came at her, she kind of has the same distance between them. Okay, I'm going to say that. So Cap is the furthest because Cap was by the um, control panel, which is on the right side of the door. But I think everyone else will be in range within 50 feet. My allies are exempted from. Okay, then good. Never mind. So it's just the henchmen who take that. And how much damage was it? The close ones take thirty-nine and are blinded. The far ones, if they can see me, take twenty-nine. It's twenty-nine, and then half of that's so a fourteen and a half. Thirty-nine is the total normal one. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine is the total. Fifteen. Fourteen is is the half. So thirty-nine is the total. Fourteen is the half. 
Yeah. Okay. 29, not so 39. 20, I was 20, wrong. 29. 29. 29. Yeah, my math was off at first. I apologize. Okay, okay. so with with armor, is that I would take that that armor amount out of that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. As do <clears throat> the henchmen. <clears throat> um, but many of them are blinded mm -hmm. or dazzled, and Which it's for a I round. Am, or I am as well, right? I think One so. Round. Is it? Yeah, for one round. Okay. All right. Okay. Usnavi, that is your turn. Angela. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> um. Look, I'm just trying to. Read. So I can't. Any. Any. Powers maintaining the required line of sight. Okay. Speed is reduced by half. Okay. Trouble on all action checks that require line of sight. And this is me just um, taking in what this all means. I'm very new to this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You're uh, doing let's great. See. I will. Perhaps then I will just. Um. Uh, I think I'll just, I'll just, you know, sort of like wave at the air, sort of like, ah, uh, uh, fools, fools, get them, apprehend them, do something. And I'm just going to uh, use focus fire to just inspire the, the allies that we have around us, I guess the other uh, henchmen, if and, you will. And uh, I, in reaction to that, am going to uh, use my hit the dirt. Uh, which uh, all allies within earshot can fall prone if they wish or not able to. If falling prone makes them ally ineligible target for initial attack, the attack automatically fails. I'm not attacking um, them, but or is it? It's those guys are probably going to attack us because you oh, commanded oh. them to. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm using hit the dirt in response to that, so that all if right. any of my people are like, no, thank you, they can just hit the floor. I would also like to use my reaction if possible. Okay, yeah, go for it. Um, I will use counter strike technique, uh, which uh, counters an enemy's uh, attack with one of my own. Uh, and I would like to head towards these guys with whirling frenzy, uh, which is I get to assault a foe with a tornado of whirling attacks. Am okay, I they haven't an attack? attacked yet. Yeah, they haven't yeah. attacked yet. But hold that bar for sure. We are being um, attacked. An attack was initiated. <laughs> when they yeah, when they attack, you will get that reaction. Um, Angela, uh, your focus fire. So you call out a target. Who is the target? Uh, I think the target will be. Uh, the cat. Okay. Oh. And so all the the oh wait. This is weird. The line of the enemy does use line of sight. Like the person I call out does use line of sight. So how does that have to do it? Let's see. The character um, calls out an enemy in line of sight and inspires one more allies of their choice in earshot up to the character's rank. So you can do four of these henchmen. Give them. Well, yeah, but just because uh, I'm edge. I'm blind because I'm dazzled. Oh, because... you're. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was thinking. I was just trying to like. I mean, I know who's in the room, so it wasn't exactly. I was yeah. Trying to think of something that was just yelling out. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. I think there's other ones that basically do a. Oh, how about you battle? Battle plan doesn't require line of sight. It's earshot. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll, I'll inspire four of the uh, four of the guards around with an earshot. Okay, cool. To gain an edge on all action checks. All right, four have edge. There we go. I was like, there's a all lot of these on checks. here. Yes, there are. Okay. All right, that's Angela Divinity. All right. So just to clarify, is the door still open that they came through? 
or did it close? That who came through? Uh, Dr. Angela and the guards. Ah, okay. So that door is like one that just like will swing back closed. And we're now, she came through on her last, on the last round. So yeah, I'm going to say that door will have closed shut again right now. Okay. All right. This is, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Divinity notices that the guards are trying to protect Dr. Angela Winston. So if they can obtain Dr. Angela Winston, they can obtain the attention of the guards, which will hopefully alleviate the peace folks. So they're going to fly forward and grapple Angela Winston and then attempt to fly through the glass paint. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can do the first action. I can't do the second action the next turn. Until the next turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're trying to basically, you can fly mm -hmm. uh, over to her, but now you have to try to grapple her. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So grappling is so you have might the, versus might, or so you can make either might or agility, whatever your your best option. And I, of course, will go by as well. Uh, but yeah, this should be great. And this is definitely uh, <laughs> their their <laughs> uh, their best stat. Uh, as, and as you both roll it. It's not a line of sight. Hmm. I, go ahead. I apologize for interrupting. What'd you say? What was the question? No, I was asking if the dodging this would require line of sight. Hmm. Oh. I think she would probably have trouble on it because of that, because of being blinded. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And what were you saying, Eliza? I forget. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you both just roll this. Yeah, we both just roll, roll it. Just a, a might. Um, yeah, exactly. might or agility. Mm -hmm. And so do I put anything on the target? No, because I'm, ro I'm rolling my eyes. It's kind of like how you grapple with D&D. &D. You have athletics versus athletics or mm -hmm, acrobatics. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a similar to that. Is there somewhere to put a bonus? Uh, yeah, if you do have I a just add it myself. Yeah, you have to add and it. And how does trouble work? How does what would I do here? After you roll, you would um, have to re-roll the highest no. number that you get. Yeah. Oh, well. So do I take the one I re-rolled with, or not? If it's lower, okay, it's it. not lower. Um, so then I'll add bonus, which is. Okay, I got 34. Uh, I have 51. Oh, Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Whoo! So, Battle of the Titans. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you see this little bitty kid who just wrapped their arms around you, which looks really small arms, but the grip behind it is like a, a python. And they're just, whoosh, uh, can take off because they can lift as much as three stages higher than gigantic so he's average size so, so and they're going to simply try to fly towards the glass pan. but uh, they can fly towards it but they can't bash to it to the next turn and that's their turn. so you already you used your movement to get to her and mm -hmm. then you grapple so on the next move you can move and then try to smash oh wait just to clarify how much space is between because i have 405 feet of movement for four Oh, well, then never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can do all that then. Gotcha. Okay. That's it. That's it for me. So right, right now, I just have Angela Wist. This little kid has Angela Wist right next to the window, ready to smash this. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. And then Cap is next. Gonna get do a little bit of um, ricochet shielding here, some hurled shield. Uh, mm. Axion against these yeah. uh, these plebes mm -hmm. who uh, have decided that they wanna they wanna rumble with me. They wanna tussle. So yeah, I mean, the way this works is let me pull up my Rika shield really fast. Um, I make a range attack. If the attack is a success, uh, they take physical damage. If the attack is a fantastic success. 
The target is also knocked prone, and the character can make an extra attack against another target, adding the extra damage between the two targets to the new attack roll. And this can go on until the attack fails. So I would like to try and trigger this ability, but first I need a task success. So I'm just going to start with my my attack roll first. What is my target number against these okay. four blinded uh, um, adversaries? Fifteen. Cool. Is a uh, is a uh, GB three one three Angela still in the mix here? You don't see her in this room. Heh. <laughs> but you did hear her through the wall a few seconds ago, through the door. Cool. All right, here we go. E. It's not a fantastic success, but yeah. Okay. And then uh, damage. Yeah, yeah. I did hit. Uh, damage is. It says 15, but I'm guessing that's not actually what it's meant to be. But I don't remember what we said was. So uh, five is your marble die times your rank. Oh, it's 15. Okay, yeah. so that's 15. Yeah, then it's 15. All right. Okay. 15 damage. Take that. Right. Okay. And um, how many of them do you hit? How does that work? I, I only hit another one if I get a fantastic success. Got so it. Okay. It's just the one. All right. I do have the ability to ricochet shield, but it does not trigger this time. Okay. All right. The shield comes back to you. Mm-hmm. What do you say? <laughs> um. Where is she? They look at you like... (laughs) They're not answering. (laughs) Is that your turn? Yep, that's it. Okay. I guess I'm going to start moving in the direction of where Divinity is so that I can be ready to go through the window when they hop through. Okay, cool. So you're moving uh, away from the cargo doors towards the observation deck. Yeah, I think so. All right, and next up is John. You're still by the doors. What do you do? John, or whatever there is left of John, seeing that this is not exactly going in his group's favor, is uh, gonna push the red, big red button. He's gonna give himself over to both of his patrons and just go all out see what happens which basically okay. means which basically means eliza can do whatever she wants all right let me look at your sheet okay so um I think the spirit of vengeance. Am I basically taking control of your character now? Is that yeah. what's happening above table? That's kind of what's happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Go nuts. Oh well. Okay. This is what I think the spirit of vengeance would do if you give her the freedom. She's going to use the gun, both guns blazing, power, and you have your uh, hellfire pistols. Yeah, uh, ghost, ghost pistols. Yeah. Yeah, so with that flaming head, she's just pulling those out, both hands. So the character splits their attack to make two ranged attack at an enemy, or one ranged attack each at two different enemies. I think she's going to pick two different henchmen. If an attack is a success, the enemy takes half range damage. If if it's a fantastic bonus with the same effect at the same target or any other target. So it's kind of like the ricocheting shield it can repeat if there's a fantastic success. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll that, though? Uh, it's with agility attack, yeah? Yes. What's the target number? Target number's 15. Oh, boy, this is gonna be fun. Uh, what, uh, damage modifier? I'm just gonna put in a random number, and then we're gonna calculate it proper. Okay. That, uh, that is a hit. But I, is it? No, it's not a fantastic success. That is a hit. Uh, what would be the damage? It was rank times... Wait, I'm uh, seeing... 
tiny screen. I can't quite see. I'm, I'm seeing. Um, is that last oh. thing I'm seeing? I see a Marvel die. Yeah, it's a it's a Marvel. It says Marvel on it. Yeah, so that is a fantastic success. Why doesn't it say fantastic? No, I'm not gonna question no Bonnie anymore. <laughs> I know. Yes. It, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that is a fantastic success. But we do need to uh, calculate that damage on our own because mm -hmm. that is not. I don't think yep. that's correct. Yeah, I just put in a random number so it would roll. So six times your rank. Six which times is... four. Okay. Four. Times two because times it's a fantastic. Two. Times yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Times two. So and that's 40, 48. Okay. And you hit two different ones who both take 48 damage. Mm -hmm. um, those Hellfire pistols blaze out and you see two of the henchmen, the two that you targeted, drop to the ground. You've knocked them out. No souls. Fuck. <laughs> uh, and then, with that fantastic success, you could go again. Yep, I'm gonna... Another one that's 15 again. Yep, 15. Mm -hmm. You're targeting one or two of them? Uh, two, two different ones. Okay, so y'all see this man on fire and the henchmen just start dropping <laughs> just like going nuts that's, that's a 23 and 23 it's, it's and it's uh it was 24 again this time it's not a fantastic okay. success i don't believe all right so 24 um the third shot the the set third and fourth shots you take a lot of life out of them but they're they're still on their feet they're just very um sh uh, shook shooketh from that Hit. So, do, so do I roll again? No, because you didn't get a fantastic six on ah. success, success on the last one. But you did hit ah. four targets in one go, which is outstanding. Nice. All right, so that's John with the spirit of vengeance in control, um, and we're just going to finish out this round of um, combat because we're past the end of our session. So, Yamaya, you're up next. What would you like to do? All right, well, um, Yamaya kind of recollects herself. She's a little annoyed that as um, kind of her goddess-like powers is starting to kind of come through and she can't make a dent in the, the doors. She kind of whispers to herself, but it's fairly loud. Uh, and she goes, inhala, exhala. Yes, I believe you get an edge for that. <laughs> Thank you. And she's going to punch the door with all her might again. All right. Uh, 25, target. Okay. Um, let me use karma to re-roll one, because I'm already not liking when it's on the dice. <laughs> not any better, but you know, it's something. <laughs> uh, 13. Quick, 14 plus 20, uh, 11. 25. Thank you. I made it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you punched through, and what was the damage that you did on that? Oh crap, I gotta do that too now. <laughs> <laughs> so your marble uh, die times your rank. My marble die, five times four is 20, plus I add 14 to it for my might. So that's nope, 30. not anymore. No. Yeah, you oh. don't do that anymore. Oh no, uh, that's for the super strong. That's super strong and- Oh, for super strong, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I thought you meant your modifier. My bad. Nope. Nope. Hold on, now you distracted me again. What was that? It was... <laughs> Sorry, you had 20, and then you're super strong. Oh, so that's uh, 34. 34. 34. You definitely make a dent in it. Ah! <laughs> 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 All right. So this is how Critical Role feels. Okay, I would never talk trash <laughs> about them ever again. My apologies to you all out there. Doors are hard. And windows. Doors. Doors. Doors are difficult. <laughs> yeah, doors are difficult. They are the bane of every every TTRPG's existence. Doesn't matter. It's always the freaking doors. Mm. Always the doors. So now it's GB313 Angela's turn. And she hears some action happening away from the door, which she doesn't like. And then that one punch near the door and she's like, hmm. She opens her portal hand, draws the blue energy out, and she reappears up in the observation deck behind the glass. 
Oh. Oh my god. She like braces Hell. herself. <laughs> seeing Divinity about to break through the glass. And I kid you not, this is what she was going to do before you declared you were going to do that. I wrote it to Josephine that that's what Doc Dr. Angela was going to do. She was going to come up into the observation deck. So that was a good coincidence. Um, and what is she going to do? Is she going to do anything else? Um, I think on her communicator to you, um, Dr. Angela, she's going to say, um, hang in there. It's fine. Another change of plan and activate change of plan. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. That is her turn. Um, and actually we're going to skip the henchmen and go to Electra and then something will happen because we are at the end of our session. So Electra, what would you like to do? Uh, so is the door open now, like completely to slip through? The door, it has a good dent in it, but it's not open. Okay. And, and um, the window is about to be maybe smashed through. I'm not sure. Um, I will say it is possible. You would have to roll really fucking well to bust through the window, but it is like possible to do it in one hit now. Um, all of her good attacks are reactions, not actual actions. Um, as, as she is gonna hold tight, she's gonna hold with those reactions ready. Okay. So, what happens next? And actually, uh, Divinity, go ahead and, and do your, your roll to smash the glass. Okay. Um, oh, oh, yes, that is a beautiful sight. Oh, uh, I can hold it. Yeah, 25 is the target number again. Yeah. All right, I got another fantastic success. Uh, so that's going Please to be... The damage. Uh, that, that would definitely hit. In terms of damage, that's going to be six. six. Oh, so it's pretty much the same number as last time. 152. <laughs> that does it. Are you slamming Dr. Angela Winston through the glass? I just... we're, both, yeah. we're both going together through the glass. Like, <laughs> there is uh, going to be some damage. You both are now going to be stuck with lots of bits of glass all over. But armor will soak some of that for mm -hmm. Dr. Angela. Mm -hmm. But what's more important right now is that the other Dr. Angela is still standing there with the portal open. Yeah. You two careen through the glass, knock into Angela, and the three of you go through the portal. Oh! <laughs> the portal closes. And that's where we will end our session. Oh, <laughs> oh no! X. Oh no! Excuse me? <laughs> I believe the word is naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Or dipping that as, tea. This <laughs> or as we're all thinking, money the fuck. Yeah, that was a yeah, perfect that part. part. <laughs> wow. Got him. Wow. Well, I mean, it's 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 not it's not a superhero series if you don't have a cliffhanger at the end, I guess. A um, Angela stays kidnapping children. I swear. <laughs> we put one to another. <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> uh, Maybe just pull an infinity war. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you all so much for coming by and watching this episode. Thank you, Josephine, for bringing in this incredible Angela thank Winston. Thank you oh, for having it was, me. It Dang. was so conflicting because I love you, but I hate this character at the same time. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, oh, this feels weird. This feels so and weird. And I was like, everyone here is so nice. How can I make her unlikable? Real <laughs> unlikable. <laughs> To make her completely her unrepentant about turning a child yeah. to a murder machine. Yeah, yeah. Make, exactly. Or make her British. <laughs> that also works. <laughs> and of course, thank you to Elisa and this wonderful cast. It's been so much fun mm -hmm. bringing this story together. You all have been incredible. All of your characters have been incredible. And of course, thank you to our viewers because without you, we wouldn't be here. So for us on Twitch, we're going to go ahead and look to raid, for some, uh, raid someone uh, to go ahead and share the world. 
uh, and we hopefully we'll be back for season two to see what happens after all the shenanigans but until then farewell for now <laughs>